Chapter 281 Cheated Once, Cheated Twice Translator Born to be this time, Long Chen and Elder Sun decided to go to a small valley a bit further from the monastery for their transaction. Long Chen noticed that Elder Sun seemed to have lost a great deal of weight. He hastily congratulated Elder Sun on his weight loss. Elder Sun didn't say a single thing, throwing a spatial ring to Long Chen. His eyes were completely red, looking like they might spit flames at any moment. Elder Sun really was pained enough to die. Long Chen had requested only extremely precious medicinal ingredients, and there had even been requirements on their age. Although in terms of quantity it had been only a third of the first list, its price had been even greater than the last time. To obtain these medicinal ingredients, he had used up the rest of all his merit points that he had saved for decades. Elder Sun even suspected that Long Chen precisely knew how many merit points he had had. These two sets had cost him practically everything. Of his tens of thousands of merit points, less than 500 remained now. His heart was practically dripping blood. If Long Chen dared trick him again, he wouldn't care about any price to kill Long Chen. Seeing the piles of medicinal ingredients in the spatial ring, Long Chen smiled brightly. He immediately handed over a black zirconium. Elder Sun received and saw there was another ancient character on the back. Superior. 1. How domineering. Elder Sun delighted. But then when he flipped it over, his expression changed and he roared. Why is there nothing on here? This black zirconium only had a single character written on its back. There wasn't the slightest thing written on the front. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on putting something there, but he hadn't had the time. Back in Phoenix Cry, he had gone to the Huaian Pavilion and bought four black zirconiums. Although black zirconium was ancient, it wasn't very valuable. Long Chen had bought them just to cheat Elder Sun that old fellow had targeted him several times for his nine-star hegemon body art. The last time, he had even drawn over a corrupt elder to kill him. If it hadn't been for Chu Yao's help at the end, he would have died. Although Tu Fang had then planned on punishing him for Long Chen, Long Chen knew that the worst punishment Tu Fang could give was to expel him from the monastery. Just being expelled from the monastery was far from enough to allay Long Chen's hatred. If he wanted his technique, then he could have it. Long Chen had drawn in the meridian circulation method of the nine-star hegemon body art. Originally, he had been planning on splitting the full diagram over four rocks. It was said that black zirconium was something that required the carver to be at least at the Xi'anchen realm. However, that wasn't a problem for Long Chen. Although he couldn't directly carve anything onto black zirconium, he could draw onto it. Long Chen had used an extremely bizarre pill formula in his pill god memories to make a mysterious stone rotting extract. This stone rotting extract came from ancient times. Large sects had huge stone steles and monuments. Some were so large they were thousands of meters high. In order to carve words into them, it not only required a great deal of power, it also required a powerful tool. But not only that, the carver couldn't make a single mistake when carving. A single monument might require tens of thousands of words. If the carver made a mistake, wouldn't the entire monument be ruined? It wasn't as if the carvers were God. No one would do something so foolish. And so the ancient era's tablets were not directly carved. The characters were first drawn on, and after making sure there were no mistakes, they would use stone rotting extract to soften the rock. Stone rotting extract was extremely miraculous. Its corrosive nature wasn't permanent. It would only soften the rock for a moment. Once it was removed, the rock would return to its original hardness. And most interesting of all, rocks that had been softened with stone rotting extract would all possess an ancient aura. When Long Chen had drawn on these black zirconiums, he had kept his divine ring released, letting its aura permeate into his strokes. That was to make it possible to sense the nine-star hegemon body arts aura from these rocks. After he managed to complete one of those ancient treasures, Long Chen would then polish it up. Soaking the new carvings with medicinal liquid until it was impossible to tell that those lines were newly added. Long Chen had really put in a lot of effort for this plot. After he had finished the first piece, he had gone straight to Elder Sun to offer him the bait. However, he hadn't expected Elder Sun to be so efficient. He had only just finished the second stone before he returned. The day Elder Sun came to rage to Long Chen about the diagram being incomplete, Long Chen had only managed to carve a single word on the back of the third stone. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on immediately going to finish the carving that very day, but in the end, he had changed his mind. That's because there was never supposed to be anything carved there. Long Chen shook his head. What do you mean? Raged Elder Sun, tightly clenching his fists. What I mean is that the front of this stone was always blank. 
and that it is supposed to be blank. Nonsense. You said that your cultivation technique was split into an upper, middle, and lower portion. You said you'd hand over the middle portion once I got all these medicinal ingredients. Did you forget your oath? Looks like you really are getting old. Then according to how you put it, then yes, the cultivation technique is split into an upper, middle, and lower portion. But when did I ever say that I would give you the middle portion? All I swore was that I would hand over what was in my hand back then. And yes, this is precisely what I was holding back then. Back then, Long Chen really had been holding this half-finished product. It was really simply that Elder Sun had assumed it to be the middle portion. Realizing he had been defrauded again, Elder Sun was no longer able to hold back. He shot forward, a claw reaching at Long Chen. Little bastard. Die. Long Chen was long since prepared for this. He summoned out his divine ring, and a star appeared in his eyes, his aura exploding. Boom. Devil decapitator slashed onto Elder Sun's hand. The ground beneath their feet split. The two of them were both sent flying back. Neither of them had had any advantage just now. Long Chen was delighted to find that although his cultivation base hadn't grown, his physical body had grown quite a bit stronger after experiencing that huge battle. Long Chen pointed Devil Decapitator at Elder Sun you should give up. First of all, you can't kill me, so this is futile. Secondly, if we continue fighting, all that will do is draw other monastery elders over. You won't have any chance. He didn't have Chu Yao's assistance and his spiritual key would be limited, making it so he couldn't fight for long. But even if he couldn't defa a Turing Elder Sun, couldn't he simply run? Furthermore, this place wasn't far from the monastery. If the two of them really went all out fighting, that would definitely attract the monastery's attention. At that time, Long Chen would still be safe. Even if this whole matter was reported to the sect leader, the cause of all of this was still Elder Sun's greed over Long Chen's cultivation technique. It was very likely the final result would be that Elder Sun would be expelled from the monastery without gaining anything. Even if it came to light that Long Chen had baited him, he had still baited him honestly. Furthermore, both the sect leader and Tu Fang were clearly on Long Chen's side. Elder Sun could forget about getting anything like that. Long Chen, just what do you want to hand over your entire cultivation technique to me? Elder Sun did his best to calm down. The prescription has already been prepared. All you need to do is gather all the medicines on this list. Long Chen sent a piece of paper floating towards Elder Sun when Elder Sun saw that page. He immediately coughed up blood. That was the third prescription page. Elder Sun grabbed it and didn't even glance at the medicinal ingredients on the sheet before tearing it to pieces. Do you think I'm an idiot? You think I'll be cheated by you again and again? Raged Elder Sun young people shouldn't get angry so easily. Stay calm. Stay cool hated. This time I swear that if you can obtain all the medicinal ingredients on that list, I will definitely hand over my entire cultivation technique to you. Did you hear? The whole thing. Another page appeared in Long Chen's hand and he sent it flying to Elder Sun. It was as if he had long since known that Elder Sun would go crazy. This second page was the exact same as the first one Elder Sun had torn up. Elder Sun took a deep breath, forcibly suppressing the urge to tear this page to pieces again. His hands trembled as he took that page. The reason he used both hands to receive that page wasn't because of any respectful two-handed etiquette, but because his hands were trembling too hard. Bastard, I really will kill you. The killin' fruit went extinct in ancient times, let alone the monastery. Not even the supermonastery could possibly have it. You're clearly doing this on purpose, so it really is like that. Long Chen was disappointed. As he had thought, the Aleph pill's main medicinal ingredient, the killin' fruit, was the most difficult one to find. Fine, then you don't need to get the killin' fruit. Just gather the other six medicinal ingredients. I can't buy these. I'm broke. Well then, I can only regretfully tell you that our trade is over. Long Chen shook his head with great regret. You, don't try acting like you're suffering such a loss. I, Long Chen, will swear to the heavens to hand over my cultivation technique. There are a total of four stones that my cultivation technique is split over. I don't know why one of them was just nothing but my guess is that this stone was required in order for the cultivation technique's name to be complete. Your luck was just bad that day. I just randomly took out that one, and you actually said you had to have it. So I also couldn't say anything. But even so, you won't lose out. You've already obtained the majority of the cultivation technique. Perhaps with your schemes and plotting, you can figure out the whole thing one day. If one day isn't enough, then try a year. If a year isn't enough, try a lifetime. If you can't figure it out, 
you can leave it to your descendants to figure it out. In any case, you'll definitely never be bored. You can just treat those stones as toys for your children. Listening to Long Chen's ridicule, Elder Sun was about to explode. Looking at that page, he took a deep breath. You swear that you'll hand over your complete cultivation technique without hiding the slightest bit. I swear, said Long Chen solemnly. Fine, then I'll believe you one last time. If you dare trick me again, then even if I die, I'll definitely bring you down with me. Elder Sun clenched his teeth. Then don't worry, I really don't feel like dying with an idiot like you. Over the next few days, Long Chen really was busy. He had to abide by his promise and finish carving the rest of his cultivation technique. But this time Elder Sun was much slower. It was only over 10 days later that he came to find Long Chen again. Chapter 282 Superior Must Kill Rebel Translator Born to be Long Chen, if you're tricking me again, I'll definitely kill you. At this time, Elder Sun's eyes were completely red and he looked incredibly gloomy. He almost looked like a corpse that had been revived due to his unresolved resentment. Long Chen had only listed seven ingredients for him to find this time, and one of those, the Killin fruit, had been removed. But those remaining six ingredients were incredibly ancient, ingredients that were rarely seen. Even the Zhuanshan Supermonastery, a sect that had existed for tens of thousands of years, only had a small amount of them, and due to how few they had, the price was incredibly high. Those six types of ingredients had cost pretty much the same as the ones on the last list. Elder Sun had already ended up using all his merit points, but in order to gain the complete cultivation technique from Long Chen, he actually sold off all his secret tomes, precious treasures, and medicinal pills to other elders. Even his main sword was sold off. Other than his immortal cave, he basically didn't own anything. Only by selling everything he owned did he manage to gather everything on Long Chen's list. Elder Sun was filled with hatred and resentment. He had sold off everything just for Long Chen's cultivation technique. Don't worry, I, Long Chen, am not someone who doesn't keep his promises. Long Chen examined this new spatial ring and saw that Elder Sun had really gathered all the Aliyah pill's main ingredients for him. The Aliyah pill's formula was extremely complicated, but now he had everything except the main killin fruit. Seeing that the amount and age of all the ingredients was right, Long Chen took out one final black zirconium and gave it to Elder Sun. Our trade and business is now over. Goodbye. Long Chen was filled with delight as he left. That black zirconium was the same as the last ones, but there were even more lines on this one. On the back was a single character. Must. 1. Superior must kill rebel. What a domineering name. Elder Sun went crazy with joy. He had finally obtained the complete technique. But within his joy was also a cold hatred. Looking at the direction Long Chen had left, he icily said, Long Chen, just wait. My things aren't so easy to take. Elder Sun also left, returning to his immortal cave to train. Over the next few days, the monastery gradually became livelier. As the secluded disciples gradually came out, the monastery became bustling with activity again. Tu Fang was delighted to see that the majority of these disciples had all advanced at least one level while in seclusion. Of their 800 remaining new disciples, over half of them had advanced to the fourth heaven stage of tendon transformation. As for Ye's Hikyu, Gu Yang, Song Mingyuan, and the other core disciples, they had advanced to the fifth heaven stage. And most terrifying of all would have to be Tang Wan or she had somehow unconsciously broken through to the sixth heaven stage. She was just one step from the late tendon transformation realm. Currently, Tang Wanner was a new disciple with the highest cultivation base. But many people attributed her fast advancement to her absorbed Dao Mark. That was because Tang Wanner had candidly said that after absorbing that Dao Mark, she had clearly felt that she didn't have any bottlenecks when advancing and that her foundation had become completely stable. And most terrifying of all, after absorbing that Dao Mark, her wind energy had changed. Her wind blades had used to have a white color within them, but now they were completely transparent. She could strike like lightning without a trace. Enemies would be killed by her wind blades before even realizing what was happening. That was how terrifying favored were. Some people guessed that the current Tang Wan'er might even be stronger than Yun Luo had been. That was because Yun Luo had only been at the peak of early tendon transformation back then while Tang Wan'er had reached the peak of mid-tendon transformation. However, when people brought up Yun Luo's final attack, they all became quiet. Yun Luo's final attack really had been too terrifying. Long Chen and Mo Nian had gone all out and only barely managed to receive it. 
but it was obvious to everyone that amongst this new generation of disciples, Long Chen and Tang Wan'er were definitely the strongest. As for which one of them was exactly stronger, no one would know without the two of them fighting. But to have Long Chen and Tang Wan'er fight against each other would be too difficult. The flirty romance between the two of them was something almost everyone in the monastery was aware of. Other than Long Chen and Tang Wan'er, the next strongest person would have to be Gu Yang. After Long Chen had given him Yun Luo's golden spear, his combat ability had soared to a new level. At the beginning, he hadn't been able to wield it, but once he reached the fifth heaven stage, he managed to activate the spear's runes and could just barely use it. Before that, Ye's Hikyu had been able to use her ice energy to just barely suppress him slightly, but because of the weapon advantage of their three duels afterwards, Gu Yang had won too, succeeding in climbing slightly ahead of Ye's Hikyu. The monastery's core disciples had now been split into three levels. The first level was Tang Wan'er and Long Chen who stood at the very peak. The two of their combat abilities were something everyone had gotten bored of discussing. That was because they simply weren't on the same level as the others. The second level would have to be Ye's Hikyu and Gu Yang. The two of them were definitely at least a level stronger than the other core disciples. And then the third level contained all the remaining core disciples. That was because the remaining core disciples were roughly on the same level. As for who would beat who, that would depend greatly on luck. No one was bored enough to go calculate those odds of who could beat who. Furthermore, Long Chen had told everyone to cut down on the duels and competitions, because that would end up dulling their sharpness. If it had been before the battle, they would not have understood what he meant. But after experiencing that huge battle, they all comprehended what he was saying. That huge battle had taught them that a martial competition and a battle were two completely different concepts. A competition was just flashy but essentially useless. But a battle only had one goal. As soon as you entered a battle, your goal would be take your enemy's life. If you didn't take their life, they would take your life. And that was often a deciding factor in the righteous and corrupt battles. The righteous path had a huge numbers superiority. But they were still often defeated by the corrupt path. That was because they were too used to the fighting style of a martial competition. As for the corrupt path, they didn't care about what flashy moves you could use, what origin you had, etc. As soon as they attacked, they would aim to take your life. They had just experienced that kind of intense battle where only the most vicious and most ruthless people lived. Long Chen had ordered them not to compete amongst each other so that they would be able to better remember that kind of battle feeling. After all, in a competition, it wasn't allowed to really use your most powerful attacks. You also couldn't really treat your opponent as an enemy. And so a competition wasn't really a good method to raise combat strength. In fact, it might even sharply lower your killing power. But the core disciples were an exception to this. They had a greater comprehension over battle now. And it was easier for them to differentiate their competition fighting style and their battle fighting style. That was why Long Chen had set down a rule that they could only compete amongst each other if they could easily enter a ruthless battle state. Otherwise, they should just patiently wait and try to absorb the benefits of that battle. In the hearts of all these disciples, Long Chen was essentially a god. They might have the guts to not listen to the sect leader's orders, but Long Chen's words were divine orders that no one would dare ignore. And so even as many people came out of seclusion, they mostly chose to continue solidifying their foundations. Sometimes they would gather together to brag about their contributions in that huge battle. That battle had definitely gone into the monastery's history. It would be a legendary battle that could not be more legendary. Even once they one day parted and perhaps went back to their families, they would still be able to be prideful and tell everyone around them that they had been a member of that huge battle. Other than just needing to solidify their foundation, they temporarily didn't need to cultivate. After all, cultivation was something that had its own rhythm. If you forced it, it wouldn't be beneficial to you. Long Chen had spent several days in his room refining medicinal powders, refining day and night, with the flame salamander's blue flame. Refining those powders wasn't difficult at all for him. The main thing was that it was just too boring. Even with his willpower, constantly refining mountains of medicinal powders made him want to vomit. But there was no way around that. A large portion of these were ingredients required for the Aleph pill. If he prepared them all properly like this, then as soon as he managed to find a kill in fruit, he would be able to refine the Aleph pill. This was to save him time in the future. For some reason, Long Chen was feeling as if time was becoming more and more pressing. It was like some kind of threat was steadily approaching him. The pressure almost made it hard for him to breathe. After half a month, 
Long Chen finally finished refining all those medicinal ingredients. The second day after he exited seclusion, a disciple ran up to him with a letter. Long Chen was surprised to see that it was from senior apprentice brother Wan. The letter said he had some things to discuss with him, but the letter didn't say what those things were. A strange expression appeared on Long Chen's face. He shook his head. This kind of intelligence really is too low. Is he some legendary super idiot? A flame appeared in his hand that immediately burnt that letter to ashes. Long Chen rested for a short time, recovering from his exhaustion. Six hours later, Long Chen arrived at the place senior apprentice brother Wan had indicated in his letter. He was currently in a valley. This place was far away enough from the monastery that even if a battle occurred here, the monastery wouldn't be able to sense it. This was a perfect place to kill someone. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you really came. A voice rang out from not far behind him. Long Chen smiled mockingly. He didn't even turn back, helplessly saying, You feigned that senior apprentice brother Wan wanted to see me here? I find you really are becoming more and more childish. Childish? Ha ha ha, but haven't you come anyways? Elder Sun laughed heartily, filled with an indescribable excitement. The reason I came is because I wanted to see what you're planning. There's not that many people around that can make me laugh like you. Normally I wouldn't refuse a chance to laugh like this. Long Chen seemed very interested in what Elder Sun was doing. Laugh? Ha ha ha. Keep dreaming. Killing intent overflowed from Elder Sun's eyes. Did you think I just let you off after you cheated me of all my lifetime savings? Ha ha ha. Unfortunately for you, I actually have to thank you. That cultivation technique you gave me really was the real thing. Now this old man will let you die a happy death by using that powerful cultivation technique to kill you. Boom. Elder Sun's aura surged and the ground beneath his feet cracked apart. A huge cyclone appeared behind his back. Chapter 283 Die Aggrieved Translator Born to be Elder Sun's aura surged out, and a huge cyclone appeared behind him. That cyclone was only a couple dozen meters in diameter, and furthermore, it wasn't a perfect circle. Instead, it seemed to be squashed slightly. Most importantly, that cyclone was a cyclone, and completely different from Long Chen's divine ring. Long Chen's divine ring was translucent, its light similar to a rainbow, but this cyclone Elder Sun had condensed was vaguely solid, almost like kanji. Long Chen's jaw dropped. Looking at that divine ring behind Elder Sun, he was filled with disbelief. Seeing Long Chen's shock, Elder Sun laughed madly. How is it? Are you shocked? This superior must kill rebel divine technique you taught me is a hundred times stronger in my hands. Elder Sun could sense that after the divine ring behind him appeared. All the surrounding spiritual key could be absorbed by him. That was something fundamentally impossible for him to do previously. With such a cultivation technique, his cultivation speed would skyrocket. Most importantly, he had been stuck at the peak of bone forging for many years now. But once he had formed this divine ring, he had clearly felt his bottleneck loosen a great deal. According to his estimation, it wouldn't be long before he could advance to meridian opening, becoming an expert on the same level as Tu Fang. Then, he could roam anywhere under the heavens. In fact, he was even having an urge to start up his own sect with that kind of strength. He was qualified to start up a second-tier sect why would he need to be mistreated here? And so the first thing he thought of was Long Chen. Just thinking of Long Chen made him clench his teeth in anger. He knew that Long Chen's relationship with Senior Apprentice Brother Wan was pretty good. Currently, Senior Apprentice Brother Wan was in seclusion and so he had just gotten a worker to secretly send Long Chen a letter for Long Chen to meet him here, and Long Chen had actually come to meet him, that delighted Elder Sun as long as he could kill Long Chen now, he could keep this cultivation technique secret to himself, Long Chen looked at Elder Sun with a complicated expression, he sighed, how did you end up doing this, haha, <laughs> of course I just followed that cultivation technique you gave me, did you really think I was senile, I easily saw through your little trick, Sneered Elder Sun what do you mean? What do I mean? He, the technique you gave me really is not bad. You deliberately marked what direction I was supposed to circulate my key. When I saw that, I was extremely curious why you would so meticulously mark that. Then I realized you were trying to trick me, and that the path you indicated had been reversed. HMPH, I've lived for almost a hundred years. Did you think your insignificant trick would work on me? I tested that reversed circulation path and as I expected, it worked perfectly. Brat, now you can die contentedly, said Elder Sun sinisterly. Long Chen really was absolutely shocked. In reality, the technique he had given Elder Sun had been completely real. 
The circulation path had also been completely correct, but this old fellow hadn't trusted him and had actually modified a part of it. It was no wonder his divine ring was so bizarre. Long Chen sighed. Looks like in your pettiness, you ended up misjudging me. The cultivation technique I gave you was completely real. I didn't modify any of it. HMPH. Do you think saying these things right before you die will change anything? Long Chen was too lazy to bother with him. But this elder son really was a prodigy. Even though he was circulating the technique in reverse, he was still able to form a divine ring. That really was out of his expectations. Elder son's aura was incredibly powerful now. It was at least several times stronger than before. With that kind of strength, he absolutely could kill Long Chen easily. And yet Long Chen's expression didn't contain the slightest panic. He was completely calm, with only a trace of pity. Did you know? As soon as I received your letter, I knew that it was you. Senior apprentice brother Wan has just been promoted to become an elder. If he really wanted to talk to me, he definitely wouldn't arrange for a meeting like this. He would have paid a personal visit, said Long Chen. He, unfortunately, you've still come, said Elder Sun disdainfully. That's right, I still came. That's because I'm very curious why someone who should have already died was still able to fake a letter. That's why I came. What do you mean? Elder Sun first stiffened before raging. What I mean is that you should have already died. The fact that you're alive is quite surprising to me. So I wanted to come take a look, explained Long Chen. Elder Sun didn't know why, but looking at Long Chen's calm expression, he felt a trace of terror. Stop wasting time. Just die. Elder Sun roared and his aura exploded out. He sent a palm crashing at Long Chen. Bang. Blood spurted through the air. Elder Sun blankly stared at his own body. He was now lying on the ground. From the chest down, his body had completely disappeared. The ground around him was covered with blood and flesh. Long Chen slowly moved aside a large shield that he had just placed in front of him. Looking at the gore on the shield, he hesitated for a moment before just directly throwing the shield away. What is going on? Elder Sun only had two arms and a head now. An ordinary cultivator would definitely be dead already. But Elder Sun was a bone forging expert, and there was a great deal of energy contained within his arms. He would be able to hang on for a moment. However, he was definitely doomed to die now. The energy in his arms would only be enough to sustain him for a short moment. Ugh, really? Why bother? The technique I gave you was completely correct. If you had just cultivated in it properly, you would have gotten to die within your own home. But by circulating the key in reverse and then calling me out here, were you planning on disgusting me one last time with your death? Long Chen, I admit defaturing I'm about to die. So can you at least let me understand my own death? Elder Sun was completely ashen now. He felt as if he had died too wrongly. His last desire was to know why he had died. Long Chen hesitated for a moment. In reality, Long Chen truly detested this fellow. In fact, Elder Sun had just been wanting to kill him. With his temperament, did Elder Sun really think Long Chen gave a damn if he died without understanding? But looking at the current Elder Sun, a grand eight temper bone forging expert, dying just like this, Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. In truth, you just died because of your greed. In this world, there are some things that will never be yours, and if someone forcibly try to take them, he'll end up like you are right now. Have you not heard that I'm a cultivator without a spirit root? In reality, I don't just not have a spirit root. I also don't have a danshan. My cultivation technique is something that only people without a danshan can cultivate in. People with a danshan who attempt to reach key condensation with this technique will be like an ignited firecracker, and their danshan will automatically explode. If you had just followed the correct circulation, you would have had just the slightest chance to survive. But even if you could survive, your danshan definitely would not have. But you decided to be a smart ass, training in it with a reverse circulation. That resulted in that incredibly weird cyclone ring of yours. You thought that weird cyclone was correct? I guess that as soon as you succeeded, you didn't even test your power before impatiently asking me to come here. That little circle of yours might have appeared formidable. But that's just an outer force. As soon as you attempted to use it, that had required your danshan. The instant your danshan attempted to draw its power, that outer power flooded your danshan. And then, bang, you explode. Long Chen had really given him the correct circulation path of the nine-star hegemon body art. But that circulation method was only for the use in key condensation. It was something that was used for preparing to condense the Feng Fu star. Elder Sun naturally didn't know that there could be someone who could cultivate without a danshan. 
and so he had attempted to modify the technique. Long Chen really had to admire Elder Sun's stupid courage. To be able to form that weird ring by reversing the flow of qi was definitely not bad. Long Chen really had not expected that. Long Chen went and grabbed Elder Sun's spatial ring. He took out the four black zirconiums, placing them on the ground. Look carefully at these four words, said Long Chen. Must kill Rebel Superior. Are you an idiot? 1. Elder Sun finally realized the truth. He had really completely fallen for Long Chen's trap. Glaring at Long Chen, his eyes were filled with hatred and unwillingness. Long Chen, you little bastard. You're just a devil. Even when I'm dead, I'll definitely still haunt you in the middle of the night. Just you wait. Elder Sun finally ran out of energy, dying. But even after he died, his eyes were still ferociously glaring at Long Chen. Patting off the dust, Long Chen muttered to himself. Damn it. Why does everything always happen to me? Even in death, he still wants to scare me. Too bad for you. But my guts are not that weak. Looking around, he found a hole and directly tossed Elder Sun's remaining body parts inside. Then he just randomly kicked a bit of dirt into the hole, burying him. You're definitely just a piece of crap. But once a person dies, all their debts are over. Luckily for you, you at least gave me some good stuff before dying. So I won't bicker with you. I'll bury you here, and the business between us is settled. If you really refuse to accept that and become some evil spirit, come find me at any time. I'll definitely teach you a couple new techniques that will let you really rest in peace. Long Chen didn't waste any more time here and returned to the monastery. Within this secluded valley, occasionally bursts of autumn wind would blow by, almost sounding like a sobbing sound. Three days later, the monastery sent out news that Elder Sun had disappeared. But there wasn't much shock towards his disappearance. That was because Tu Fang had announced that Elder Sun had already resigned from his elder position and left voluntarily. That caused everyone to feel that it was no wonder Elder Sun had been acting oddly the past few days. He had constantly been rushing around, and he had even sold off his possessions for low prices. It seemed that he had decided to change jobs. As for why he wanted to change jobs, nobody found it that odd. Ever since his display in that battle, his status had plummeted. His reward was cut in half, and his lucrative post as head of Zhuanshan Pavilion had also been taken away. It was obvious that there was no further path of advancement for him within the Zhuanshan Monastery. The fact that he would leave was just normal. Although Tu Fang didn't know how Elder Sun had just disappeared, Tu Fang could guess that it was just his fate. Elder Sun must not have wanted to have a long life since he had dared to fight against a divergent. And so Tu Fang had suppressed this matter not wanting it to affect the monastery's regular operations. Long Chen was also well aware of that. He suspected that Tu Fang had figured out some clues, but he also didn't care Novaloon.com it had already been a month since the battle, and everyone's cultivation bases had been soaring. However, he was still stuck in the same bottleneck. That was definitely unacceptable. He had to cultivate. After saying goodbye to Tang Wan'er, Long Chen went alone to a familiar mountain where black clouds always gathered around. Chapter 284 Something Big Has Happened Translator Born to be Long Chen arrived at a familiar, bare mountain top. Looking up the sky covered in black thunderclouds, he sighed. His cultivation base was completely stuck in a bottleneck he could not advance past, and he also couldn't find the killing fruit. The best thing he could do is come up with some alternative methods to raise his strength. Last time when he had fought Yun Luo, he had essentially exhausted all his thunder force. And since he had been so busy buying medicinal ingredients during this time, he hadn't had the time to go recover that thunder force. Now that he finally had a break, he came to this place. Long Chen's thunder force was something merged within his blood. It would require a large deal of time and energy to replenish it through normal means. Only by properly feeding his thunder force runes would they produce more thunder force for him. Rather than wasting time and energy on that, Long Chen preferred to just directly gather more lightning. With Long Chen's character, if he could accomplish something lying down, then he definitely wouldn't bother sitting up. Completing tasks in the quickest, safest manner was the way of a king. Long Chen took out a kite three feet long. This kite was extremely special though. It was made entirely of iron. It was something Long Chen had asked Guo Ran to make for him. The wings had 36 sets of springs. When the wind blew by those springs, it would cause them to constantly compress and decompress allowing the kite to fly stably in the air. Once it was in the air, it wasn't like other kites. It wouldn't need someone to constantly change its direction. Guo Ran estimated that as long as it was anchored to the ground and that there was wind in the sky, this kite could stay up forever. Furthermore, 
Long Chen's kita string was also very special and made of an especially tough steel wire. It was both slender and durable. Long Chen quickly got the kite in the air, bringing it to a height of 3,000 meters. That was where the thunderclouds were densest. Occasionally, lightning would strike the kite, and a powerful thunder force would pass on down the kita string. But this thunder force didn't cause any injuries to Long Chen. In fact, this level of thunder force was actually relaxing for him. The thunder force runes in his blood were like hungry wolves that had been awakened, crazily devouring this new energy. As for the kite, even in the midst of all that lightning, it was only trembling slightly. There was no sign of it being damaged whatsoever. Seems that Guo Ran's devices are trustworthy. This brother of his was surprisingly reliable in this aspect. He found a boulder and tied the string onto it. He then took out a jar and poured in Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Honey. He lay back on the boulder, a straw connecting his mouth to the jar. With the sweetness in the mouth and the gentle massage on his back from the thunder force, Long Chen felt like he might float to the heavens. This must be how gods and immortals cultivate. Long Chen was deeply moved. The thunder force in the sky was constantly being conducted down onto his body, allowing the thunder force in his body to quickly replenish. And after experiencing this exhaustion and replenishment, his thunder force runes had grown slightly in size Novaloon.com Perhaps such a lazy cultivation method was something only Long Chen could think of. Other than his thunder force, Long Chen didn't have any other way to increase his strength. He was prepared to cultivate here until the Jiuli secret realm opened. Although he hadn't obtained a chosen disciple position, he naturally had gotten a core disciple position. There was no way he lacked the qualifications to enter. Long Chen naturally didn't like to having to spend all day watching others bitterly cultivate and their strength constantly rising. He decided to just stay here the entire time. And so a month passed. Just like that. Long Chen's blood was crazily roaring as the thunder force runes in his body continuously surged. During this month, Long Chen had spent day and night being tempered by that thunder force. The runes in his blood had also grown slightly over this time. Naturally. Long Chen felt a corresponding increase in the strength of his Thunder Force as well. Back when Long Chen had fought with Yun Luo, he had released a Thunder Force attack, but he hadn't managed to control it properly and it had ended up dispersing. And yet its power had still been terrifying. If Yun Luo hadn't taken out a precious treasure at that time, he most definitely would have died. Now Long Chen's Thunder Force was even stronger than back then. These Thunder Force runes were like little housepits he had raised. As long as Long Chen wished it he would be able to unleash their power. Furthermore, as those runes grew stronger, his control also increased. In the future, his attacks probably wouldn't go out of his control and disperse like last time. With a final explosive sound from the sky, the black clouds disappeared, leaving behind only sunlight and regular, white clouds. TCH. After a month, all the thunder force has been used up. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. He had really overfished the thunder force here. Last time he had absorbed away over half the thunder force here, but now he had spent a whole month, absorbing day and night. All of it was gone now. Long Chen estimated that it would require several months, and perhaps even a whole year, for the thunder force here to finally recover to its original level. Patting off some dust, he cupped his fists towards those powerless clouds in thanks. When Long Chen returned to the monastery, he went straight for the Zhuanchen pavilion. He was planning on choosing a couple of battle skills. Normally, Long Chen mostly relied on his Feng Fu battle armor as well as Split the Heavens, but those two were just too exhausting, especially Split the Heavens. No matter how much energy he had, Split the Heavens would always use up everything he had. Back when he had fought Yun Luo and had Chu Yao's Wood Spirit Union, his energy had been ten times what it was normally. After fighting Yun Luo for a while, when Yun Luo had finally used his last attack, Long Chen estimated that the energy remaining in the three leaves on his back had still been four or five times what he normally possessed. But all that energy had all been used up by Split the Heavens. It was clear just how exhausting it was to use. But at the same time, Split the Heavens had never disappointed him. In Yun Luo's final attack, Mo Nian's arrow had only managed to block 30% of it. The remaining 70% had been dealt with by Split the Heavens. Before he managed to condense the Aleph Star. Split the Heavens was definitely his strongest trump card. Furthermore, it was like Split the Heavens was a bottomless hole. Long Chen was unable to sense just what class of battle skill it was. To have been able to use a trash garbage pill for this battle skill, Long Chen had really gotten an enormous advantage. Sometimes he would even admire his own business skills. 
but whether it was his Feng Fu battle armor or split the heavens, they were all decisive moves unsuited for prolonged battle. So this time he was looking for some battle skills that used up less energy. It would be best if their consumption was equal with his Divine Ring's energy replenishment. This was actually only the second time he was going to the Zhuangshan Pavilion again. The first time being with Tang Wan'er to buy some medicinal ingredients and that expensive spiritual space opening art. In fact, he had spent so much on it, that when he had realized how simple it was, he had almost coughed up blood. Later he had never come. One reason was that he was busy, but the other was that he didn't want to come here just to see all the things he couldn't afford to buy. Even later when he had needed medicinal ingredients to refine pills, he had always gotten Tang Wan'er to go buy them. He would rather not be vexed by the sight of these things he couldn't afford. The battle skill floor of the Zhuangshan Pavilion had around 30 senior apprentice brothers guarding it. Seeing Long Chen enter, they hastily greeted him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Long Chen was startled, saying, Senior apprentice brothers, have you made a mistake? You're the senior disciples. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen must not be aware of it, but all disciples in the Zhuangshan Monastery call you senior apprentice brother now. Senior apprentice brother is a term of respect. Those who are stronger have to at least be called senior apprentice brother. It has nothing to do with who joined the sect earlier. The strong are the senior disciples. He, during that battle, senior apprentice brother Long really was too awe-inspiring. That was probably the first time in many years that we all felt our blood surging like that. Those law enforcers were all filled with excitement just from thinking about that battle. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Elder Tu Fang has already said that all the treasures of the Zhuangshan Pavilion will be open to you for free. You can take whatever you want. One of the law enforcers was more astute and realized Long Chen must be busy and had come here for something. Haha, <laughs> then I'll have to thank you all. I'll just browse through them. Within Ling Yunzi Immortal Cave, Ling Yunzi had already said that all the monastery's resources would be open to him. Originally, Long Chen had been thinking of just getting medicinal ingredients, but then he had suddenly realized he was being stupid. Of course he had to first take advantage of how many resources Elder Sun had had, and so the matter of medicinal ingredients had been resolved easily and quickly, also allowing him to pay back a grudge. He strolled around the Zhuangshan Pavilion for half a day finding two suitable techniques, Violent Gale Saber and Thunderization Art. The two of them were both high earth class techniques. They cost nearly 2 million points. Long Chen liked using sabers, but he had never trained in any saber arts. When he fought with others, he would always fight head on, essentially just hacking at them. He had never learned any skillful techniques. So this Violet Gale Saber would definitely be of great assistance to him. As for the Thunderization Art, it was the only lightning attribute cultivation technique. One, in the monastery. That was because people who could control thunder force were incredibly rare in this world. They were so few that it was pitiful. When he had found this thunderization art, Long Chen had been incomparably excited. When he tried to use thunder force, he was only able to control it very simply, and was unable to truly use it properly. But just at the start of this thunderization art, he saw many introductions towards methods to use Thunder Force, and it was extremely detailed. It was just what he was lacking. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. The monastery really was amazing with a powerful foundation. Carrying those two secret tomes, Long Chen contentedly walked away from the Zhuangshan Pavilion. Long Chen didn't train in these two techniques within the monastery, but decided to once more leave for a period. This time he was gone for even longer. He only returned two months later. When Long Chen once more returned to the monastery, his blood and ki were soaring. In the last two months, he had killed an uncountable number of powerful magical beasts. But when Long Chen returned to the Heaven Earth faction, he found that it was completely silent. He was completely bewildered. Where was everyone? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you came back. Quick, follow me. Something big has happened in the monastery. Chapter 285 Overbearing Arrogant Bully Translator Born to be within the Zhuangshan Pavilion was an enormous martial training field, 30 miles wide. Within that training field was a large, martial arena. That martial arena was a square 3,000 meters wide. It was exceptionally hard, and was usually used for disciples to swap pointers. By the time Long Chen was dragged here by one of the Heaven Earth Faction's disciples, all the Zhuangshan Monastery's disciples and elders had already gathered here. Everyone from the Zhuangshan Monastery was gathered on the east side of the martial arena. On the western side were over a hundred unfamiliar faces. 
The person at the front was a woman in her 30s. She had willowy eyebrows and had an attractive light in her eyes. She could just barely count as not bad, but her cheekbones were raised, her lips were very thin, and her chin was pointed. She gave off an extremely sharp and unkind feeling. Such a person was hard to like, but although she might not be that pretty, just by standing there, she caused the space around her to fluctuate. A strange energy came from her. It was as if she was merged with heaven and earth. Xianchen realm. Long Chen was shocked. Other than Ling Yunzi, this was the first time Long Chen had seen another Xianchen expert. However, Ling Yunzi aura was calm and cool, while this woman's aura was constantly spreading from her. Even her own people had to distance themselves from her. Obviously they couldn't handle that pressure. Long Chen estimated that this woman had only just broken through to Xianchen, and was unable to control her own power like Ling Yunzi, causing her aura to leak. There were over a hundred young disciples behind her. They all looked at the monastery's disciples with sneers, their eyes filled with disdain. Long Chen was surprised that amongst those disciples were over 30 core disciples with powerful auras. But that wasn't all. The most surprising thing was that amongst the core disciples were four different auras. Those four were like cranes standing amongst a flock of chicken. Their auras were clearly different. That aura was a bit strange. But Long Chen had already sensed that aura from experts from the corrupt path. That was the same as Tang Wan'er's aura. Favored. They had actually brought out four favored. Just who were these people? The Zhuangshan Monastery's disciples were all focused on these people. So they hadn't noticed Long Chen's arrival. Long Chen indicated to that disciple who had brought him to be silent. The two of them stealthily entered the crowd to watch. Senior Luo, why has your 36th monastery come to visit us here at the training field? Tu Fang was looking at that woman. When these people had arrived at the monastery, they had forcibly charged through the gates, causing an alarm to ring throughout the entire monastery. The monastery had thought the corrupt path was invading again, so everyone had come out to investigate. As for this group of people, they hadn't said a single word. After just pausing slightly, they came directly to this training field. Some disciples had tried to stop them on the way, but they had all been attacked and injured. Although these people didn't use any heavy attacks and didn't take any lives, these injuries still infuriated these disciples. They had all taken out their weapons, prepared to have an all-out war, but they had been stopped by the elders. That was because the elders had noticed a certain mark on their clothes. That mark was the same as the monastery's disciples' robes, except that mark had a small 36 on it. As for their disciples, they all saw that their own mark had a 108 on theirs. At the start when they joined the monastery, there had been many disciples who had been curious as to what that 108 had meant. Some of them had asked their senior disciples, but those senior disciples had refused to say. Now Tu Fang finally arrived, standing at the front of all the elders. From his words, everyone realized that Tu Fang was acquainted with that woman, but they didn't understand why this woman would be so rude and unreasonable if they really were acquaintances. Why would she barge in forcibly like this? This Xianchen woman was called Luo Bing. She was the chief elder of the 36th monastery. She had originally been on the same level as Tu Fang, but she had just recently advanced to the Xianchen realm. For cultivators, age meant nothing. Strength was respected, and so Tu Fang had no choice but to call her senior. As the enforcement elder, Tu Fang had often been required to make trips to the supermonastery, and so he had often run into the experts from the other monasteries. As for this Luo Bing, Considering how sharp her face is, it was impossible for him to forget who she was. Three years ago, she had been at the peak of Meridian opening. Tu Fang had no idea when she had broken through to Xianchen. Tu Fang couldn't help cursing the heavens for being blind. This Luo Bing was famed within the supermonastery for being unkind and unreasonable. Her big brother was the sect leader of the 36th monastery, and so she frequently spoke down to others. But of course, this woman wasn't especially stupid and so she would only speak down to those from monasteries ranked near the bottom. Once she had been stupid and sneered at someone from the top 10 monasteries, as a result, that person was not so well disposed and immediately gave her a slap in the face. Then when Luo Bing had gone crying to her brother, her brother had given her another two slaps on the face, tied her up, and sent her to the person she had offended as an apology. Only then was that matter settled. That was something that had happened over 10 years ago. Practically everyone in the supermonastery knew of it. In fact, it was often something people chatted about when they were bored. But then, less than half a year later, Luo Bing had once more gone out arrogantly. But this time she seemed to have become smarter. 
not provoking people whose strength she didn't know. As a member of the lowest ranked 108th monastery, Tu Fang often received her ridicule whenever he went to the super monastery. But in accordance to the ideology that a man should not fight with a woman over something so ridiculous, Tu Fang had never bothered with her. But that didn't represent Tu Fang didn't hold a grudge against her. The most irritating thing about this annoying woman was that hateful mouth of hers. No one would be able to bear it. There were several times when Tu Fang had almost snapped and gone all out against her. But in the end, his reason had always won out, and he didn't act impulsively. Afterward, whenever Tu Fang went to the super monastery, he would always try to be more low-key and avoid running into this busybody. However, last time, because of Long Chen's matter, he had once more run into her. This idiot woman had then ridiculed the 108th monastery in front of countless experts, saying that he had fabricated someone in a vain attempt to cheat the super monastery of a chosen's resources. That was also one of the reasons Tu Fang had been so incredibly furious once he had returned. However, he hadn't told Long Chen about that matter, as that was really too shameful to talk about. Now that this woman had barged right through their door, Tu Fang was grinding his teeth angrily, but he couldn't be too rude in front of his disciples, so he could only act coolly. Luo Bing didn't even look at Tu Fang, disdainfully saying, You don't have the qualification to talk to me. Scram and call out Ling Yun Zi. Luo Bing's words caused Tu Fang's expression to sink. It really was a case of giving face but not receiving face. The sect leader is in seclusion. Right now everything in this monastery is handled by me. Whatever you came here for, you can tell me. You. That's fine too. Luo Bing disdainfully glanced at Tu Fang. Then her gaze roved over Tang Wan'er and the other core disciples. But when her gaze fell on Tang Wan'er, she was given a surprise. But that surprise quickly returned to ridicule. She sneered. Really a group of bumpkins. Wretched and repulsive. I really wonder what the super monastery is doing. Giving you 16 core disciple positions. You're just a pack of wasteful pigs. Luo Bing. Pay attention to your tone. This is the 108th monastery. Not your 36th monastery. Tu Fang sternly warned her. This woman really was too hateful. Even though they hadn't done anything to her. She had barged in here with her malicious mouth. No one would be able to bear this kind of bullying. Tu Fang's expression was extremely ugly, and the other elders weren't much better off. But in the face of a Xi'anchen expert, someone on the same level as their sect leader, they could only endure. However, the elders might be able to bear it, but the disciples weren't. No one would be able to accept such naked insults, especially not when that person cursed them all as pigs. But obviously the monastery's disciples were much better behaved, and they knew not to interrupt while the elders were speaking. But the hatred in their eyes was not concealed in the slightest bit. If angry glares could kill a person, Luo Bing would have already turned to ashes. But unfortunately, anger was unable to hurt people. As for Luo Bing, she wasn't at all uncomfortable with those gazes. In fact, when she saw that anger, she even became a bit more excited. By calling you all pigs, I'm actually praising you. You don't even have a thousand disciples left. It'd be better for you to just disband Novaloon.com each year. The super monastery wastes so many resources of a group of pigs like you. Why do they bother? Pigs are just pigs. No matter how big you raise them, they're only raised to be slaughtered. If the monastery took the resources they wasted on you all and instead gave them to the monastery's rank towards the front, that would be enough to raise a couple more chosen. Frankly, all of you are just a waste of resources. A group of pigs just waiting to die. What was the point of giving you so many core disciple positions? Once you're in the Jiuli secret realm, with your skills, just how many of you will survive? You're actually fighting over being sent to your death. Really a bunch of pigs. Luo Bing's gaze roved over those disciples, especially on those core disciples. Her expression filled with disdain and contempt. Her words were like a whip that viciously thrashed on their faces. Those core disciples were grinding their teeth and clenching their fists in anger. Long Chen's mouth twitched from the back of the crowd. He sighed. Other than himself. Was there no one bold enough to curse back at her? If none of you are going to stand up, then neither will I let me see just how long you can endure such humiliation. No one knew that Ling Yunzi, who had been announced to be in seclusion, was actually standing at the front of his immortal cave, watching from a distance. He smiled. Would there be another good show to watch? That's enough. Luo Bing, shut your repulsive mouth. We do not welcome you here, so hurry up and leave. Rage Tu Fang. Without Ling Yunzi present, you do not have the qualifications to make me leave, sneered Luo Bing. 
If you want us to leave, you'll have to first promise me a single thing. Chapter 286 Poisonous Mouth Translator Born to be if you want us to leave, you have to promise me something. What? Demanded Tu Fang. Although Tu Fang had a stomach of anger, he was extremely curious just why she had came to such a remote place like this. It's very simple. I just want your disciples to exchange pointers with my disciples. Aren't you going too far? Your monastery is ranked 36th. While we're ranked last, you're clearly bullying. I knew that your mouth was dislikable, but I never knew your skin was so thick too. Why don't you go exchange pointers with the first monastery? Demanded Tu Fang. The power difference and background between the two of them wasn't even comparable. So what if I don't go to the first monastery? So what if I prefer to bully a group of wasteful pigs? What are you going to do about it? Your group of trash made us lose three core disciple positions for the Jiuli secret realm. Do you really think we'd let that pass so easily? Luo Bing's face was extremely malevolent now. She had no idea how, but somehow the 108th monastery had managed to gather so many talents this time. Originally, the monastery had only had four core disciples who had awakened their ancestral marks. But after that huge battle, they had all awakened their ancestral marks. According to the rules, any core disciples who had awakened their ancestral marks would automatically get a spot to enter the Jiuli secret realm. In total, the monastery had had 17 core disciples. Qishin had essentially been killed by Long Chen, and Lai Qianchang had died in the battle. That left them with 15 core disciples. In addition, there was one free spot given to the last place monastery as a gift from the Superman Sattery. The monastery could decide who to give that position to. Even the supermonastery had been emotionally moved by the 108th monastery. It had to be known that the 108th monastery was always extremely pitiful. They only managed to pass their days with only the free resources given to them by the monastery, never accomplishing anything big. In all of history, the 108th monastery had only ever had one or two core disciples who had managed to enter the Jiuli secret realm. There had never been a third. Now that so many powerful experts had come from the 108th monastery, the supermonastery would naturally send down their support. But there were not unlimited spots to enter the Jiuli secret realm. That was because each entrance to the Jiuli secret realm could only support so many people. After a certain number of people had entered, it would automatically close. Having so many experts suddenly appear, the supermonastery had considered it and felt that this was too rare for the 108th monastery and they hadn't cut down on one of their spots. Instead, they had decided to pick a couple monasteries who ranked near the top middle would all just lose out slightly. Those monasteries had had to hand over one of their spots to the 108th monastery. In theory it sounded good, but where there were people, there would be conflicts. Several monasteries had ended up losing out, each one of them having to give one of their spots for the 108th monastery. Of course, this range was limited. The top 10 monasteries couldn't be chosen because of how many people they possessed and their powerful background supporters. They naturally couldn't choose those top 10 monasteries. As for those ranked below 50th, there was no need to even think about them. Those people already possessed pitifully few spots to enter. If they deducted their last few spots, that would really be excessive. And so they had only chosen the monasteries ranking from 10th to 50th. They had chosen the relatively more suitable monasteries to pay the price for the 108th monastery. The loss of one spot meant that one of their core disciples who had also awakened their ancestral mark would not be able to enter the Jiuli secret realm. And the 36th monastery had really been unlucky, because the person in charge of this matter was someone who had been sneered at by Luo Bing multiple times before. Now that person finally got their revenge on her. The other unlucky monasteries had only lost a single spot but the 36th monastery had lost five spots. When he had heard this news, the 36th monastery's sect leader almost died from anger. He had immediately went to find that person in charge of this, but as soon as he had seen the person in charge, he had realized everything. That person had righteously told him that his 36th monastery had been enjoying slightly too many spots for the Jiuli secret realm for over 2,000 years, and so these five spots were to balance out all those years. No matter how the 36th monastery sect leader complained, that person had just replied with that righteous and fair argument, refusing all counter-arguments and bribes. In the end, that manager had left him with a single line, even if you have to squeeze yourself to death, you still have to hand over five spots. The 36th monastery sect leader had immediately flown into a rage the minute he returned to his monastery. 
He furiously cursed Luo Bing over and over, and Luo Bing didn't dare retort. This matter was because of someone intentionally making their life hard, so they naturally couldn't let this go just like that. The sect leader had immediately gone to the first monastery to beg for a favor, seeing if they could help them haggle. The 36th monastery had a slight relationship with the first monastery, but that relationship wasn't very close. After all, the first monastery was miles ahead of the 36th monastery. If a monastery didn't even rank in the top 10, then the first monastery didn't even deign to look at them. But the 36th monastery sect leader had still hoped to use their slight relationship to fight against this. The first monastery sect leader was disinclined to even meet him once he arrived. He had instead sent a random elder to deal with him. Luo Bing's brother had immediately felt let down. And as he had expected, that elder had merely listened to him for a moment before leaving, saying he would ask around for him. Just as the 36th monastery sect leader had been about to leave dejectedly, that elder had suddenly called out to him, saying the sect leader cared deeply about this matter and would help him handle it. And as it turned out, the first monastery really lived up to its name, with its power. Even that manager had to give them face. Two days later, the 36th monastery received news that they only had to hand over three spots. Two more spots for them was a huge favor. The 36th monastery sect leader had been completely delighted, praising himself for having made the right decision and going to beg the first monastery. But just three days after that, an elder from the first monastery had paid them a visit. During that visit, he had coincidentally brought up the 108th monastery. According to what he said, the 108th monastery had recently acted in a manner that extremely displeased his sect leader. Now Luo Bing and her brother understood why the first monastery would help them. Their real target had been the 108th monastery. Luo Bing had immediately said that she would go embarrass the 108th monastery, and that elder had simply smiled, not saying any more. Although acting in this manner wasn't too appropriate, they definitely had to repay the first monastery. Furthermore, if they managed to handle this matter properly, that would strengthen their relationship with the first monastery. It was definitely extremely worth it for them. And the 36th monastery sect leader had immediately agreed to Luo Bing's movements, but he secretly told her not to let the matter blow out of proportions. Luo Bing's speciality was finding trouble for others, and as expected of her, she had barged into the 108th monastery with her disciples. You're clearly just causing trouble for nothing. This is just you bullying us. Tu Fang was completely infuriated. He had seen bullies, but he had never seen such an overbearing bully. HMPH. The cultivation world is a survival of the fittest. There's no need to waste resources on the weak. Are we supposed to rely on you trash to fight against the corrupt path? How laughable. After just one battle, you don't even have a thousand disciples left. As I thought, you really are just pigs waiting to be slaughtered, sneered Luo Bing. In comparison to the 108th monastery, the 36th monastery would always get over 30,000 new disciples each time for their disciple selection. That was because they covered a larger area and also possessed the resources to raise them. However, Ling Yunzi was unable to do the same. This monastery had been ranked last for thousands of years now. The lower ranking they were, the less resources they got. Under that vicious cycle, they were never able to stand out. Back then, Ling Yunzi had been filled with drive to reverse the situation. But a person's ability was limited. He had been unable to change this reality. It was said the first monastery was even more terrifying, and that they always selected over a million new disciples each time. Furthermore, those million disciples were the best of the best. The first monastery and the 108th monastery were worlds apart, and so Luo Bing had immediately known to take the first monastery's side, barging into the 108th monastery and disdainfully looking down on them all. It was like she was an emperor looking down on a group of beggars. She naturally gave off a kind of high and aloof feeling. As for those disciples behind her, they were also looking down on them, their eyes filled with contempt. I also won't make it hard on you. We can have disciples who are on the same level fight. We'll have 10 matches. But don't worry, my disciples are all much stronger and have good control. So we definitely won't take any lives. But if you end up injured or crippled, you can't blame us for that. If you're afraid. Then just admit that all of you are just pigs and we'll immediately leave. How is it? Are you fighting or not? You can decide for yourself. Luo Bing crossed her arms overbearingly. Elder Tu Fang, let's fight. They're too much. Yeah, let's fight. We're not scared. Even in front of those savage corrupt disciples, 
We didn't retreat a single step. How could we be afraid of them? The monastery's disciples were almost exploding from anger. Luo Bing called them pigs each time she opened her mouth. That kind of humiliation was unacceptable. Although the 36th monastery's disciples hadn't said anything, that contemptuous posture of theirs was incredibly irritating. HMPH. How surprising that a group of pigs have such courage. Well Tu Fang, are you fighting or not? Luo Bing icily snorted. Elder Tu Fang, let's fight. If Long Chen was present, blood would already be splashing. If we don't agree, then when Long Chen returns, we won't even have the face to see him, said Tang Wan Er. Although she was doing her best to control her anger, she was never able to reach Long Chen's level of nonchalance. Her voice trembled, revealing how furious she was. Long Chen? That idiot faking he's a chosen so he can get more resources from the super monastery, mocked a core disciple from the 36th monastery. Shut the fuck up. As soon as he said that, all the 108th monastery's disciples exploded, all taking out their weapons. They charged across the martial arena to that person. Perhaps they could control their anger when people merely insulted them, but if they were to insult Long Chen, they would explode. Long Chen was a god to them. If anyone dared smear Long Chen, they definitely wouldn't rest until death. Everyone from the 36th monastery, including Luo Bing, was given a fright. Their assumption had been that everyone from the 108th monastery were all cowards. But seeing the killing intent soaring off these disciples, they seemed more like fiends from hell. They had to be at least 10 times more savage than corrupt disciples. Return. Suddenly, a shout rang out, and all those charging disciples stiffened, stopping. Chapter 287 Anger to Death Translator Born to be at this time, even if the sect leader himself had come, it might not have been able to stop everyone's charge. But this voice was able to do that. That was because this voice came from Long Chen, a godlike figure in their hearts. Everyone celebrated when they heard Long Chen's voice, and forgetting their anger, they withdrew. Long Chen slowly walked out and respectfully went to Tu Fang. Elder Tu Fang, can you leave this place to me? Tu Fang also sighed a breath of relief when he saw Long Chen. It was like with Long Chen present, no matter how difficult a problem was, everything could be easily resolved. Okay, then you can handle this. And Long Chen, you don't need to be worried about anything, because even the sect leader backs you. Noveloon.com Tu Fang's meaning was obvious. Long Chen didn't need to be afraid of Luo Bing. If she dared personally attack, the sect leader would definitely come out to stop her. You are Long Chen. Luo Bing was somewhat flabbergasted. Long Chen didn't pay attention to Luo Bing. He beckoned to Guo Ran. Guo Ran had been with Long Chen for so long that he could immediately tell what Long Chen was planning just from his expression. He hastily came over and took out a luxurious chair from his spatial ring. Long Chen immediately sat down. He had only just sat down when Guo Ran opened up a large parasol, sticking its end into a hole on the back of the chair. Long Chen comfortably lay back in the shade. Guo Ran quickly produced a cup filled with something. As soon as that cup appeared, a sweet scent floated out that everyone could smell. Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Crystal. Even Luo Bing was moved. A small blood condensation rookie actually possessed Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Crystal. Furthermore, from his posture, it seemed he drank it like it was just tea. He gracefully sipped it, relishing in the taste. He had only just swallowed when Guo Ran produced a white napkin that Long Chen used to wipe his mouth. Whether it was disciples or elders, everyone present was stunned. As Tang Wan Er watched Long Chen and Guo Ran's act, she couldn't help smiling bitterly. Once again, this scoundrel was up to mischief. Guo Ran put on a respectful look, but inside, he was laughing intensely. Back then when he had first become acquainted with Long Chen, he had known that Long Chen could definitely become an absolutely peak braggart. Because he thought Long Chen could become an amazing braggart, Guo Ran had taught Long Chen an extremely flashy entrance method. In fact, he had come up with the whole process. But Long Chen had always refused to do it. If someone really showed off like this, they would definitely be beaten up by others. So no matter how Guo Ran had persuaded him, Long Chen had refused. That had depressed Guo Ran greatly. But even in his depression, he knew that there would be one day when his boss finally understood how important being a show-off was. He had always kept the props with him. When Long Chen had beckoned with his hand, Guo Ran's eyes had immediately lit up. That was precisely the starting gesture of the pretentious sequence Guo Ran had taught him. As this pretentious act played out, Guo Ran went all out playing his part, looking extremely natural and pleased. The entire crowd was completely silent. 
The 36th monastery's people were all just stunned. What were they doing? Who were these two? What was with this extravagant display? After Long Chen wiped off his mouth, he unhurriedly passed the napkin back to Guo Ran and indifferently said, Who are these people? They must be stupid. If they know I'm Long Chen, why would they still ask? They probably have some illness. Do you know what kind of illness? From what I've seen, it's probably a mental illness. Aren't people mentally ill supposed to be kept under lock and key? Otherwise, wouldn't they just randomly run amok, biting others? My guess is that their master didn't look after them. They took advantage of their master not paying attention to run out. They really must be peak grade. No, from what I see, they seem more like trash grade. Suddenly a roar interrupted the two of them. You two juniors, are you looking to die? Luo Bing had finally reacted. These two were actually cursing her. The 36th monastery's disciples were still stunned. They all knew Luo Bing was incredibly unreasonable, and definitely wouldn't forgive the two of them. Even sect leaders of all the monasteries ranked below 50 would feel a headache when they saw her and would generally avoid her. As for ordinary elders, running into her was incredibly unfortunate for them. But now she was being ridiculed like this by some random disciples. Tang Wan'er was covering up her laughter. In her opinion, this scoundrel Long Chen's greatest ability was infuriating others. He was practically able to anger living people to death, and anger dead people back to life. As for people half dead, he would probably anger them so much that they alternated between life and death. As for the other disciples behind Long Chen, they all looked at him worshipfully. This was their idol. Who cared if you were ranked 36th? Who cared if you were in the Xi'anchen realm? Even so, Long Chen wouldn't give a damn about you. Long Chen smiled slightly. Acting pretentious like this wasn't bad. At the very least it had completely infuriated this high and aloof Luo Bing. It really was satisfying. Just now you said our 108th monastery's disciples are all pigs. Then let me ask you, what are you guys? Long Chen asked Luo Bing. HMPH. A small blood condensation brat doesn't have the qualification to ask me a question, sneered Luo Bing. Oh, so it was like that? Then you should scram. What are you still doing here? Luo Bing obviously didn't want to talk with Long Chen. She was a Xi'anchen expert, someone on the same level as a sect leader. Just speaking to Tu Fang made her feel like she was losing status. Talking to Long Chen would be even worse. And most hateful of all, Long Chen was sitting down while she was standing. But if she then sat down, then that would essentially be accepting that Long Chen had the qualification to sit on an even level with her. So she couldn't sit, and she also couldn't stand without losing status. That infuriated her. She asked Tu Fang, does your 108th monastery really not have anybody left? You sent a little brat to talk to me. Tu Fang icily smiled. Long Chen is the representative of our monastery's disciples. He was also the commander in the last corrupt and righteous battle. He led the righteous disciples to defaturing corrupt disciples who outnumbered them by several times, leading us to an unprecedented victory. Then by using his powerful combat ability, he managed to kill a favored, an eight-temper bone-forging corrupt elder, and forget about it. You can leave your bragging lies in your mouth. I'm not interested Luo Bing glared at Tu Fang. If you don't want to listen, then scram. Long Chen is the representative of our monastery. Tu Fang smiled coldly. As soon as Long Chen appeared, he used a practically perfect pretentious display to immediately exterminate Luo Bing's overbearing attitude. That was really just too refreshing for Tu Fang. In all his life, he had never been as irritated as today. Now Tu Fang didn't have any more misjivings. Luo Bing was even more infuriated. She, a grand Xi'anchen expert, was repeatedly told by those inferior to her to scram. Ling Yun Zi, is this how your 108th monastery treats guests? Luo Bing's angry row rang out shaking the heavens. It could clearly be heard for thousands of miles. This was her attempt to force Ling Yunzi to come out. She needed someone on the same level as her to talk to. How are you guests? Long Chen can represent our entire monastery. His words are the same as my words. If you don't like it, scram. Ling Yunzi's voice rang out in all their ears. That raised the spirits of the monastery's disciples. The sect leader's support was a great encouragement. You, Luo Bing was completely infuriated. It had always been her bullying others. This was the first time she had been so vexed. But thinking about her mission, she clenched her teeth and spit out. Fine, Long Chen, I'll talk with you. You shameless old BTCH. You're so old. You're so ugly. And you still want to court our boss? What delusional thinking. 
Long Chen hadn't even had a chance to reply before Guo Ran stood up with righteous indignation, cursing at Luo Bing. Long Chen spat out a mouthful of Queen Bee Crystal. Being caught off guard, it dripped out of his nose and he teared up. Guo Ran, raged Long Chen. Boss, don't worry, I'll protect you. I definitely won't let this BTCH defile your purity. Guo Ran righteously patted his chest. Killing intent surfaced from Luo Bing. She detested when people called her BTCH. Whether it was in the open or in secret. All those who called her that had to die. If previously she was filled with fury. Then now she was filled with killing intent. It appeared she might snap and start killing people at any moment. That gave Long Chen a fright. Speak. Why did you come here? Long Chen hastily pulled the conversation back on topic. Luo Bing had to take a couple of deep breaths. If she hadn't had her own mission in coming here, she really would have snapped and killed these two brats. She knew that this was a rare chance for the 36th monastery to cozy up to the first monastery. She had to take this seriously. It was only with a great deal of effort that she finally suppressed her killing intent. But inside, she swore that as soon as there was a chance, she would definitely smash these two into mincemeat. Luo Bing began, this time we came to have a friendly exchange of pointers, to mutually raise each other, to don't give me your crap and get to the point. Long Chen waved his hand impatiently. Luo Bing clenched her fists so tightly they creaked. She was on the edge of exploding. Within the 36th monastery, other than the sect leader, she possessed the highest authority. Anyone would have to treat her respectfully. If she didn't make life hard on someone, they would have to go back and light incense in thanks. But here, it was the opposite. She had no choice but to tolerate Long Chen's words. Although his words were constant provocations against her, she used her greatest restraint to keep herself calm. But her voice still trembled slightly. We'll each send out ten people, and each battle will be between people at the same level. Whoever wins six matches will win overall. Long Chen icily looked at Luo Bing, his expression extremely strange. His gaze contained a bit of ridicule, a bit of contempt, and a bit of pity. He sighed. You must have some kind of mental illness, right? Chapter 288 3 Connecting Flower Tendon Pill Translator Born to be Long Chen's one sentence immediately ignited Luo Bing's suppressed anger. Her hand trembled as she pointed at Long Chen. You, seeing a Xi'anchen expert be angered to the point that her body was involuntarily quivering. Tu Fang's mood greatly improved. If those people Luo Bing had offended could see this scene, they would definitely bestow a medal of honor to Long Chen. Although Luo Bing wasn't the most evil person in the super monastery, she was definitely the most hated. There was basically no one who wasn't fed up with her, and many people wished to kill her as soon as they saw her. That was because her mouth was just too vicious. Those elders within the super monastery who ranked near the back essentially all hated her. You? What you? I said you have an illness, and all you can say is you? You think we'll fight just because you want us to? Do you think we're just performing monkeys? If you don't put in a little incentive, who would just play around with you? Do you think we're as bored as you all? Long Chen said disdainfully. Luo Bing was actually relieved when she heard this. Long Chen wasn't necessarily declining. He wanted to gamble? That was good too. She was completely confident in her disciples. Their disciples were elites amongst elites. They had definitely spent over 10 times the amount of resources on their disciples compared to what Long Chen and the others got. Here. The disciples had to be sparing and save up their spirit stones. But in the 36th monastery, all disciples could activate their spirit stone formations all day and night without care. As for medicinal pills and weapons, any outstanding disciple could obtain them just by stretching out their hand. And so the majority of the 36th monastery's disciples had already reached the mid-stage. And their auras were extremely sturdy. Just their auras were a whole level ahead of Long Chen and them. And so Luo Bing didn't place them in her eyes. And now that she heard Long Chen actually wanted to bet, she smiled mockingly. What can a remote and desolate place like this possibly have to gamble? If it's just a bunch of rotting clothes, then just forget about it. We wouldn't be able to find any trash like that in our monastery. The disciples behind her also began to laugh. A bunch of poor ghosts. I guess you've been driven crazy by how poor you are. You want to bet. Just a month of our resources is greater than a year of your resources. What can you possibly take out to bet what are you talking about? Elder Luo has already said that they're a bunch of wasteful pigs. They can just take out some pork to bet. Hearing that ridicule, Gu Yang and the others were completely infuriated. Luo Bing's ridicule was one thing. After all, she was a Xi'anchen expert. Someone on the same level as a sect leader. 
They could only endure it if she were to ridicule them. In front of a Xi'anchen expert, they were less than ants. But being ridiculed by disciples in the same realm as them was definitely unacceptable. They were grinding their teeth in anger. Long Chen smiled slightly. He didn't get angry. This kind of little trick was not worth him getting angry about. If he did get angry, wouldn't they have succeeded in their goal? Long Chen could sum up his experiences in a single sentence. If an enemy wanted you to become angry, you absolutely could not get angry. At the very least, you couldn't show that expression outside, or you would have fallen into your enemy's trap. The calmer and more indifferent he was, the more his opponents would feel like their fists had only hit air. The ones to feel unwell would be them. You're right. In a remote and desolate place like this, we really don't have anything good. I guess let's just bet with these little things. Long Chen took out a jade bottle from his spatial ring, pouring out a medicinal pill. With a flick of a finger, he sent it flying at Luo Bing. Receiving that medicinal pill, Luo Bing was filled with ridicule. Medicinal pills were nothing to her 36th monastery. Apparently she thought they were treated as treasures here. Glancing disdainfully at the medicinal pill, Luo Bing's expression suddenly changed. Thinking she had seen wrongly, she even smelled it and carefully examined it again. Three connecting flower tendon pill. She exclaimed with disbelief. This pill was extremely precious amongst medicinal pills. Its main ingredient, the three connecting flowers, was exceptionally rare. Even in the supermonastery, that kind of medicinal ingredient was extremely precious. That kind of mysterious plant would have three flowers on a single branch. When those three flowers finally joined together, their colors would be all different from each other. It was something that only grew within frigid ice lands. Furthermore, the three connecting flower tendon pills required the three connecting flowers to be at least over a hundred years of age. But the thing that made this pill the most precious was that refining it was extremely time-consuming and the difficulty was extremely high. Even for Long Chen, refining a single furnace of three connecting flower tendon pills required 12 hours. There was no way around it. This pill required four different intervals and five different kinds of flame control changes. The odds of failure were extremely high. And so ordinary pill masters hated refining the three connecting flower tendon pill most of all. For most pill masters, refining a single furnace of them would require at least three days. And the failure rate was shockingly high, almost reaching 80%. After bitterly working for three full days, only to have the furnace of pills be trashed at the end, many pill masters would almost have an urge to kill themselves. That made this pill extremely rare. Long Chen had only refined a couple furnaces of them before stopping as it was just too exhausting. But although it was exhausting, at least its value was shockingly high. It possessed an extremely powerful nourishment effect for the tendons. Tendon transformation was all about strengthening a person's tendons. Tendons were what linked the bones to the muscles. If you only had strong muscles but weak tendons, you would probably end up tearing yourself apart the instant you applied any force. The first realm of cultivation was key condensation, and the second was blood condensation. These two used ki to nourish the blood, using the blood to nourish the muscles such that their strength could reach the peak. But if just the muscles were strong, that was useless. Muscles could only release as much strength as the tendons could bear. Without tendons, powerful muscles were just dead muscles. And so tendon transformation was the third cultivation realm, a heavenly chasm that blocked people's cultivation paths. Tendon transformation was an extremely important juncture for cultivators. Only through strengthening the tendons could you release the full potential of your muscles. As for the three connecting flower tendon pill, it wasn't used to raise the cultivation base, but to nourish the tendons. It was practically a divine medicine to tendon transformation experts. However, it was extremely rare. Even in the 36th monastery, a core disciple could only receive 10 of them a month. Inner disciples would only get one a month. As for outer disciples, they were essentially unable to obtain such a good medicinal pill. They could only substitute it with other medicinal pills. This kind of rare medicinal pill was something that only monasteries in the top 50 should be able to possess. In fact, Long Chen should have never even heard of it, let alone Luo Bing. Even Tu Fang and the other elders felt this was inconceivable. Although Tu Fang had seen three connecting flower tendon pills before, he had no idea where Long Chen could have obtained one. Although he had heard Long Chen could refine pills, he couldn't believe that this three connecting flower tendon pill was refined by him. Even experienced pill masters would find it difficult to refine high grade three connecting flower tendon pills. Yes, it's the three connecting flower tendon pill. In this remote and desolate place, there really is nothing good. 
I can only bring out this little snack to bed. Long Chen then took out a couple more of three connecting flower tendon pills and threw them all into his mouth. Long Chen ate them like they were candy. His act was so good that even Tu Fang's face twitched. Those three connecting flower tendon pills required other medicinal pills to be swallowed with them in order to draw out their full effect. By eating them like this, Long Chen wouldn't even be able to absorb half their medicinal strength. And so Tu Fang and the other elders immediately felt some pain. In truth, even Long Chen felt some pain at this. He had exhausted himself just to refine these pills. Most importantly, he had yet to even reach tendon transformation. Eating these three connecting flower tendon pills like they were candy had no effect. Well, it had one effect at the moment. Showing off. Well, are we betting or not? Isn't it just betting some snacks? You don't need to look so aggrieved. Like your man has just died and you've become a widow or something. If you don't want to bet, then scram. At this time, Guo Ran stood up by Long Chen and snuck in some words. To ridicule a Xi'anchen expert like this, that was a huge opportunity for him. In the future, he would be able to tell his companions a story. Back when I was in tendon transformation, I cursed and scolded right at the face of a Xi'anchen expert, and she didn't dare say a word back to me. Luo Bing mocked. HMPH. The three connecting flower tendon pill might be a treasure in your monastery, but in my monastery, it's absolutely nothing. How do you want to bet? Long Chen shook his head. Hmm? What do you mean it's a treasure? I've already said we're just betting snacks. He then took out three jade bottles over a foot long. Once the cork was unplugged, a dense pill scent wafted out, causing everyone's expression to change. That scent was clearly the scent of the three connecting flower tendon pill. Long Chen rattled the bottle showing that it was completely full. He then poured a couple pills from inside to show everything that they were all three connecting flower tendon pills that had pill halos, marking them as high grade. In reality, even before Luo Bing had brought up her challenge, Long Chen had already expected it. He had split up his three connecting flower tendon pills into different bottles. But in truth, those bottles were actually mostly packed with other medicinal pills that only had similar effects and scents as the three connecting flower tendon pill. It was just that the three connecting flower tendon pills were put in at the top. It would have been possible to tell the truth from seeing through a couple small clues. However, everyone had already been misled by Long Chen's previous show-off display of using real three connecting flower tendon pills as snacks. That caused them to fall for this easier. After showing off the proof, Long Chen put the medicinal pills away. To the stunned Luo Bing, he said, In truth, I was just showing off just now. I hope you don't mind. Unfortunately, I only have 803 connecting flower tendon pills. 800 pills. Even Luo Bing, a Xi'anchen expert, had her heart jump at that. She looked at Long Chen in disbelief. Since we're having 10 rounds, then I'd say we should do 80 pills a round. How's that? Said Long Chen grandly. Ah, Luo Bing hesitated. Long Chen frowned and sneered. Who was it just now who said something about being remote and desolate? Something about the trash you couldn't possibly have? My memory isn't so good, so I've forgotten just who it was who said that. I'd like to trouble Senior to remind me. Chapter 289 Undaunted Unafraid of Death Translator Born to be Luo Bing's expression was extremely ugly now. She was still stunned. The fact that Long Chen could take out so many of those incredibly precious three connecting flower tendon pills made her head completely blank. Now her previous ridicule had become a slap in her face. But she also couldn't appear weaker. She couldn't stop midway. I don't have that many three connecting flower tendon pills on me. Switch it to something else. Luo Bing felt like her face was burning hot. Inside, she cursed Long Chen to death. Ah, that makes sense. You're all such amazing figures. You probably wouldn't keep such trash on you. Then Elder Tu Fang. Can the three connecting flower tendon pill be exchanged in the super monastery? Long Chen turned to Tu Fang. Tu Fang had no idea what kind of crazy drug Long Chen had taken. He could only reply, This three connecting flower tendon pill is rare and only the top 50 monasteries have a limited distribution of it. The monastery ranked under 50 are not distributed any. As for exchanging for them, you can. But they are not open to disciples. Only elders can buy them. I've heard one high grade three connecting flower tendon pill requires 1000 merit points. If it was switched to the disciple points. That would be equivalent to 1 million points. Tang Wanner and them were all given a fright. A single pill was 1 million points? Then most of them wouldn't be able to buy a single pill even with all their savings. They all looked at Long Chen. Long Chen really had to be a god. 
Everything he did was outside their expectations. Just where did he obtain these three connecting flower tendon pills from? Long Chen naturally wouldn't say. The medicinal ingredients for these had all been given to him by a very nice person. That secret would stay hidden forever. Okay then. Long Chen sunk into thought for a moment before continuing. That's fine. Then 83 connecting flower tendon pills can count for 80,000 merit points. Elder Tu Fang. Those merit points can be easily traded. Correct. Tu Fang nodded. They can be traded. It's common within the entire super monastery. Then good. So then. Do you want to compete or not? If you win a round, I'll give you 83 connecting flower tendon pills. And if you lose, you give us 80,000 merit points. Long Chen looked at Luo Bing. No problem. We'll bet with you. Sneered Luo Bing. In truth, she really did not have that many three connecting flower tendon pills. Even in her entire monastery, they probably did not have that many. Each time they would have to exchange for them. She was actually quite happy to accept Long Chen's suggestion. She was fully confident in her people. Good. Then let's start. For the first round, you can choose what level. Although you aren't guests, we won't bully you. We'll give you the initiative. Long Chen lazily sat on a chair. No need to pick. We'll go from the lowest level to the highest level. The first round will be on the outer disciple level. Who wants to go? Luo Bing shouted to her disciples. This disciple wishes to go. A thin and tall man jumped onto the martial stage. People were startled to see that this disciple had reached the fifth vestige of tendon transformation. As for their monastery's outer disciples, they were all only at the third vestige. Not one of them had reached the mid-stage. That thin, tall man disdainfully swept his gaze over them and sneered. Which person wants to send themselves to their death? What should we do Long Chen? Who should go? Tang Wan'er was a bit nervous. These 36th monastery disciples were all elites amongst elites. Their aura is incomparably strong. Their monastery was clearly weaker than them in that aspect. Most importantly, outer disciples were their weakest members. Because the amount of resources that were given to outer disciples was extremely low. No need to be afraid. Anyone can go up. The result will be the same. Said Long Chen indifferently. What? Are you all afraid? Ha ha ha. As expected. You really are a group of cowardly pigs. That thin, tall man raised his head and laughed. You're asking for it. Suddenly, an angry roar rang out and a figure flew onto the martial stage. Long Chen recognized that person as one of Gu Yang's subordinates. Let me, Xiao Peying, exchange some pointers. The tall, thin man disdainfully said. A small early tendon transformation weakling does not have the qualifications to exchange pointers with me. Scram. Even as he sneered, he charged forward at Xiao Peying. This duel had no need for someone to yell start. As soon as you stepped onto the stage. The battle began. This thin, tall man was extremely powerful. As soon as he took action, his aura exploded out. How powerful. Tang Wan'er's expression changed. The 36th monastery really was too powerful. It was no wonder they were so arrogant. They had the skills to be arrogant. Their auras were incredibly stable. The pressure coming from them made it hard to breathe. That definitely had to do with the cultivation technique they used. As he rushed over, he unsheathed his sword and a cold light slashed down on Xiao Peying. Scram you pig. When Xiao Peying had jumped onto the martial stage, he had been feeling nervous. He knew this battle was extremely important. He just hadn't been able to endure their opponent's ridicule. But the instant his opponent charged at him, his worry and sullenness completely disappeared. His blood seemed to react to his opponent's mannerism and instantly heated up. It was like he had returned to the righteous and corrupt battle from before. Seeing Xiao Peying's new expression, Long Chen smiled. Good. That's the right expression. That's the right feeling. Kill. Suddenly, Xiao Peying roared, and an incomparably savage aura immediately locked that tall, thin man in place stiffly. Xiao Peying charged forward like an angry beast. With a huge collision, sparks flew everywhere. The instant Xiao Peying's saber collided with that man's sword, a huge explosion erupted. What surprised almost everyone was that the tall, Thin man who had seemed much stronger was only on an equal level with Xiao Peying. The two of them were both knocked back several steps. But Tu Fang and the other elders had sharp vision. And they immediately saw through what had happened. When it came to true strength. The tall, thin man was definitely a level higher than Xiao Peying. But as soon as Xiao Peying had attacked. His indomitable will immediately suppressed his opponent. That kind of will was something that came from deep within him. It was something that could only be formed through being tempered through walking out from the line beneath life and death. That kind of will was like formless blades. 
The instant Xiao Peying released his will, his opponent felt as if he was being stared at by some ancient monster. An intense threat of death filled his heart. In that instant, he felt as if he weren't fighting a person, but some merciless beast. In terms of imposingness, that tall man had been completely suppressed by Xiao Peying. That terror in his heart made it so that despite being clearly stronger than his opponent, he was only barely able to force a tie in their exchange. Die. Xiao Peying's saber once more slashed out mercilessly. Tang Wan'er and them were startled. At first, all they felt was that his posture was a bit familiar. But then they realized Xiao Peying was also using a saber, and that he was using it in the same manner as Long Chen. His strength was far too lacking in comparison, but that ruthlessness inside him allowed him to copy Long Chen's form slightly, and it was filled with an indomitable will, one that would either win or die trying. Bastard, you're crazy. This is just a competition. The tall, thin man felt a murderous aura completely lock him in place. Xiao Peying was clearly trying to kill him. Xiao Peying ignored him. His saber didn't hesitate as it slashed down. With another bang, Xiao Peying's opponent just barely managed to block. But due to his panic and terror, he was sent flying back. Idiot. Don't be suppressed by him. Calm down. Cursed Luo Bing. This disciple of hers had his courage broken and wasn't bringing out his full strength. Unfortunately, cursing people didn't really have much use. Under Xiao Peying's vicious attacks, that man was repeatedly forced back. Xiao Peying's saber was vicious and fast constantly targeting vitals. If his opponent slipped up even slightly, he would take his life. Tu Fang and the other elders were deeply moved to see Xiao Peying fighting more and more valiantly. After Long Chen's guidance, there was not a single weakling left within their monastery. After that huge righteous and corrupt battle, after experiencing that pressure of death, the ones with weaker wills had already died. As for those who had survived, they were all experts amongst experts. It could be said that there was not one who had only survived due to luck. As for the 36th monastery, they were an excellent example of the opposite. They had powerful cultivation bases, but there was no indomitable will inside them that did not fear death. They were like all the previous generations of their 108th monastery. Those disciples had possessed a huge advantage in numbers in the previous corrupt and righteous battles. But in the end, just drawing out a tie was a pretty good result for them. In truth. Most of their fighters were inferior to the corrupt disciples. So frankly speaking, that could already count as a loss. But under Long Chen's guidance, their roles had been exchanged. The righteous path had become wolves while the corrupt path had become sheep. Boom. That tall, thin man was becoming more and more terrified as the battle continued. He had confirmed Xiao Peying definitely wanted his life. In his terror, he was sent flying by one of Xiao Peying's slashes. He immediately vomited out a mouthful of blood as he flew off the martial stage. But there was no unwillingness or anger on his face after that. Instead, he was filled with relief. He had only just stood up when Luo Bing gave him a vicious slap in the face, not even giving him a chance to say anything. You damnable coward. You've really lost us all our face. Luo Bing's face was green from anger. That tall, thin man was sent flying again by her slap, this time falling unconscious. The other disciples all shivered when they saw that, but they also felt that he had been too disappointing. He had been terrified by his opponent, unable to release any of his strength. They looked at him disdainfully. Hey, don't just hit your own kids. Since you've lost, hurry up and pay up, urged Long Chen. They had already agreed to pay up with each round. Luo Bing was still green as she took out a blue badge and flung it at Tu Fang. Isn't it just 80,000 merit points? I, Luo Bing couldn't possibly care about such a small thing. You can take them out yourself. Tu Fang received her badge, and he also took out his own badge. Inputting some numbers, he drew over 80,000 merit points from her badge. Tu Fang originally only had 70,000 merit points on his badge. Now it had suddenly risen to 150,000. He sighed. Their 36th monastery really was rich. They acted like 80,000 merit points was nothing. But although they could act like it was nothing, you would have to ask Luo Bing to see if that was really true. Receiving back her badge and seeing 80,000 merit points had disappeared. Her heart was dripping blood. However, she didn't display that on the outside. She continued to act as if it was nothing as she lightly said. Let's continue with the next round. Chapter 290 Let the Core Disciples Fight Translator Born to be for the next round. Luo Bing chose another outer disciple. This new disciple was very muscular looking like a powerful brute strength fighter. But Long Chen still didn't choose anyone in particular to go out. Seeing Long Chen didn't say anything, 
one of the Heaven Earth faction's outer disciples jumped up. Long Chen recognized that disciple. He had been the one who had almost died to the Tijermuth fish during the disciple selection trial. Long Chen had saved his life back then. He had originally been one of Qi Xin's people, but in order to pay back Long Chen's favor, he had told him about the matter of Qi Xin harming Little Snow, and Long Chen had accepted him into the Heaven Earth faction. That little fellow's name was Xiao Kian. His talent wasn't bad, and amongst outer disciples, he could count as a well-known figure. Seeing him go out, Long Chen nodded. Another 80,000 merit points were about to be sent their way. The muscular man facing him was another mid-tendon transformation expert. Seeing the early tendon transformations Xiao Kian, he disdainfully said, You aren't my match. If you're smart, you'll immediately scram. Otherwise, I'll take your life. Come at me. Xiao Kian shook his head, taking out his sword. Fine, since you want to die, I'll help you out. That muscular man snorted and took out a broadsword. He seemed extremely suited to fighting with brute strength. He suddenly charged at Xiao Kian, his figure like a phantom, appearing outstandingly domineering. The 36th monastery's disciples all cheered. This muscular man was their strongest outer disciple. Not only was his cultivation base the highest, brute strength was his speciality. When he fought, he possessed a large advantage. Seeing that sword coming right at him, Xiao Kian completely ignored it and his sword directly stabbed towards his heart. That muscular man couldn't help being frightened. This was clearly a suicidal move. He had decided to take him down with him right at the start? What he didn't know was that Long Chen had already instilled in them all a certain fighting tactic. Risking your life. Risking your life was one of the most effective slaughter methods. But it wasn't effective on all people. So you had to judge who to use it on. If you wanted to risk your life, you'd have to find those people with more normal thinking. If you were to risk your life against someone who was a coward afraid of death, then they would immediately become easy pickings. Because they were afraid of death, they would be terrified and they definitely wouldn't dare risk their own life to go all out against you. By then, you'd have already won half the battle. However, this tactic wasn't effective against everyone. Other than crazies and idiots, there were also true warriors who didn't fear death and would dare risk their own lives against you. True warriors had long since become unafraid of death. As for these show-off, vain braggarts here, how could they possibly be real warriors? Shao Kian didn't even need to think before using this tactic to fight. To the 108th monastery's disciples, their lives had been snatched back from the hands of death by Long Chen before. They had already cheated death once. Even if they had to lose their life now, they wouldn't care that much. And so they dared to risk their life, and they were filled with an indomitable will. That muscular man's expression changed when he saw Xiao Kian's sword stabbing towards his heart. He naturally didn't wish to die with this fellow, and his broadsword hastily switched direction. Their two swords collided. Due to being extremely physically powerful and having a stronger cultivation base, he managed to force back Xiao Kian. The muscular man icily snorted, weak. His broadsword once more slashed down on Xiao Kian. This time he was using even more power. That previous attack had just been a testing blow. His second attack was now even faster. It would reach Xiao Kian's body in just the blink of an eye. Xiao Kian repeated a suicidal attack, stabbing his sword at his lower abdomen. But Xiao Kian wasn't as fast as his opponent this time. If this continued, the muscular man's sword would quickly slash through his shoulder. And yet, Xiao Kian's sword didn't waver the slightest bit. He seemed to be thinking, your sword might cut me into pieces, but my sword will also pierce through your danshan. Even if you don't die, you'll be crippled. That muscular man saw that Xiao Kian's expression was still completely calm and indifferent. He was shocked, as at the beginning. He had thought that he had just been trying to scare him, but now he realized he was wrong. This bastard clearly didn't fear death. He was clearly planning on bringing him down with him. This muscular man could also count as a ruthless person amongst outer disciples. His attack were merciless, and many of his fellow outer disciples had been injured by him. The weak feared the strong, the strong feared the ruthless, and the ruthless feared those who didn't fear death. In this world, there were few people who weren't afraid of those who were unafraid of death. Previously, this muscular man had even mocked the tall, thin man who had lost. But now facing Xiao Kian, he finally realized his struggles. His broadsword had just been an inch away from cutting through Xiao Kian's body, but he quickly took it back to block that sword stabbing at his stomach. Due to having changing his attack, his speed was now slower than Xiao Kian's. Although he managed to just barely block it, 
Xiao Kian's sword tip had just reached his abdomen, and a hole had been cut through his clothes. That muscular man could even sense the coldness on his stomach. He thanked his luck over and over that he had taken back his attack, or he would already be dead. Now he began to sweat. Seeing Xiao Kian's indifferent expression, he was terrified. How could he treat his life as if it were nothing? That muscular man's courage was completely broken now. Xiao Kian's sword was now piercing towards him. All his attacks were ruthless. He didn't aim for power, but to kill. This was one of the reasons why Long Chen told them not to duel or fight each other. That would end up causing them to become accustomed to dueling, and not battling. The goal of battle was always to kill your opponent. It was not a game. And now this example in front of them was the best proof. Whether it was cultivation base or strength, this muscular man was a whole level ahead of Shao Kian. But in front of Shao Kian's ruthless attacks, his movements became a complete mess and he became too cautious, unable to display any of his strength. That was also a principle Long Chen had taught them. When two people fought, the one who was more afraid of death would be more likely to die. Only through escaping the restrictions of your fear of death could you allow yourself to stay calm, to easily grasp everything within your eyes, to see every opening in your opponents, and to bring out your greatest strength. This was bringing out 100% of your strongest strength to attack your opponent's weakest point. In terms of cultivation technique, battle skills, cultivation base, physical strength, and perhaps even wisdom, Shao Kian was inferior to his opponent, but just by relying on his valiant will, he was able to break his opponent's confidence, causing his combat ability to sharply drop. Other than having a slight advantage in their first exchange, this muscular man was now continuously forced back, only defending reactively to Shao Kian's attacks. Shao Kian's attacks were all ruthless, risking his own life sometimes and that especially calm expression he had the entire time was even more frightening than if he had put on a savage expression. Tang Wan'er couldn't help shaking her head. She glanced at Long Chen. That first disciple had only managed to imitate 70-80% to 80 of Long Chen's style, but Xiao Kian had imitated pretty much 90% of Long Chen's expressions and posture. That kind of soul-piercing calmness really was too similar. She found that funny. Almost all the monastery's disciples viewed Long Chen as their idol. But in truth, none of them knew that Long Chen was only 17 years old now. That was a year younger than her. It was just that Long Chen also had a steadiness and calmness that did not match his age. He even had a wisdom that far surpassed them. So to them, Long Chen seemed more like someone in his 20s. Looking at Long Chen relaxing on his chair, Tang Wan'er felt a burst of warmth. She really did feel good to have Long Chen by her side. She found that she was becoming more and more dependent on Long Chen. It was as if as long as Long Chen was present, then even if the very heavens collapsed, his shoulders would be able to bear that weight. A loud explosion rang out on the martial stage, cutting off Tang Wan'er's thoughts. When she turned to look, she saw that Xiao Kian's arm was hanging limply, completely broken. As for his opponent, he was holding his throat. Blood was flowing past his fingers, and he was completely terrified. You've lost. Although Xiao Kian's arm was broken, he was still expressionless. He pointed his sword coldly at his opponent. The crowd was deathly silent. Just now, everyone had clearly seen Xiao Kian use his arm to forcibly block an attack from that broadsword in order to slit his sword across his throat. If Xiao Kian's sword had pushed forward just a little bit more, that wouldn't be a slit throat, but a fallen head. Having had his throat cut like this, that person was unable to say anything. Filled with terror, he hastily jumped off the martial stage. Someone immediately came to help heal him. That person was a wood cultivator who quickly stopped his bleeding. For an ordinary person, having their throat slit would equal certain death. But cultivators could suppress the flow of blood, so it wasn't much. But that cut across his throat had terrified him completely. In his panic, he hadn't dared stay on top of the martial stage. After seeing that person be miserably defeated, the 36th monastery's disciples' heart sunk. Bastards, you really are vicious. Luo Bing was incredibly angered. Her disciples were not at all used to that kind of fighting style. Vicious. Long Chen disdainfully laughed. Even this is called vicious? All that proves is that you are all too naive and ignorant. You can ask any of the disciples beside me. Which one of them hasn't crawled out of a mountain of corpses? Which one of them hasn't killed far over a hundred opponents in the same realm? Fighting across levels is nothing out of the ordinary for them. We all walked out from a path paved with the corrupt disciples' bones and flesh. In front of us who have experienced a trial of blood and fire, do you, 
a bunch of spoiled children who lived in your greenhouse environments, even have the qualifications to compete with us, and you even dare look down on us? Laughable. Following Long Chen's words, the 108th monastery's disciples were all filled with pride, and they felt their blood heat up. It was like they had returned to when they had fought together with Long Chen on the battlefield. So give me less crap. You've lost the second round. So hurry up and pay up. Inside, Long Chen scolded himself for wasting words with her. You wanted to give us a slap in the face? Then come and try it. Don't worry. I, Luo Bing, definitely won't fail to pay up to a bunch of beggars. Luo Bing snorted and once more threw out her badge to Tu Fang. One reason she let Tu Fang withdraw the points himself was because she trusted Tu Fang didn't dare take more of her merit points. The other reason was because doing it herself would have filled her with too much pain. When she once more received her badge, there were 80,000 merit points less on it. Although she acted indifferent, her mouth trembled slightly, showing how vexed she was. HMPH, in the next round, we're switching levels. Let the core disciples fight. Chapter 291 A Sword Cultivators My Translator, born to be HMPH, in the next round, we're switching levels. Let the core disciples fight, snorted Luo Bing. Oh, shouldn't the next round be switched to inner disciples? Could it be you've lost so much that you can't count anymore? Mocked Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen was well aware that Luo Bing had realized that doing that was unfavorable to her. Utter disciples and inner disciples weren't her true fighting force, although they had all obtained more resources than the 108th monastery's disciples, they still weren't able to compare to them. After all, they were all true warriors who had killed their way out of the battlefield. Fighting like this was too unfavorable for them, and so she wanted to immediately raise the level so that their superiority could show. After all, core disciples received many more resources than the others. They were the true experts. The fact that Long Chen had pointed that out caused Luo Bing's face to burn, but she still quibbled. These fights aren't interesting enough, and are just a waste of time. Only by immediately going to the highest fighting level will there be any meaning to exchanging pointers. Long Chen was too lazy to argue with her. That was because he saw that Gu Yang and the other disciples' eyes were glowing, each of them like hungry wolves who had seen their prey. After that huge battle, Long Chen had told them to cut down on duels between them as much as possible. So they were all feeling stifled. Then we'll do it like you said, said Long Chen indifferently. A figure from their side rushed onto the martial stage. That was a medium build man whose gaze was like a reserved sword. His aura was shocking. I am Zhu Fang. Who wants to come exchange pointers with me? That person was naturally a core disciple. But at this point, he had reserved a bit of his overbearing manner. That was because now they all knew these disciples had all just gone through a great life and death battle. They were all true warriors, and they didn't dare take them lightly again. Let me. Suddenly another figure jumped onto the martial stage. That person carried a sword on his back, and he gave off a very proud and aloof feeling. Yu Zifeng. Long Chen smiled slightly. Although they had temporarily been opponents for a moment while fighting for the profound spirit fruit, Long Chen had always felt that Yu Zifeng was a pretty good person. He acted like most sword cultivators, proud and aloof. Later. Long Chen had heard from other core disciples that it wasn't just Tang Wan'er and Ye Zhikyu who had achieved a perfect advancement. Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, and Song Mingyuan had also reached that level. As for the other core disciples, they had all achieved flawless advancements. But a perfect advancement would make a person's foundation even sturdier, and allow them to reach even greater heights in the future. Yu Zifeng normally wasn't very talkative, and people didn't really understand him very well. Seeing him jump onto the martial stage, Long Chen was filled with anticipation. Yu Zifeng was now like an unsheathed blade, his powerful aura making it so others found it hard to breathe. Luo Bing's pupils suddenly shrunk. She hadn't expected such a powerful person to have appeared within the 108th monastery. With her Xi'anshan level eyesight, she could immediately tell that Yu Zifeng was a powerful sword cultivator. Sword cultivators weren't the same as other cultivators. They believed in their sword and through a resonance with their sword, they were able to release a power that others were unable to comprehend. In the ancient legends, there was a sword god high above the nine heavens. All sword cultivators who focused wholeheartedly on the sword Deo would receive the sword god's blessing. But of course, such a saying was just a saying, and no one would believe it. However, it was publicly accepted that sword cultivators were much stronger than others in the same realm. Yu Zifeng's imposing mannerism already contained a hint of the sword Deo's grace. 
He clearly had quite a high level of accomplishment when it came to the sword Deo. Previously, he had always been staying in the back of the crowd, indifferently watching. That was why Luo Bing hadn't noticed him. Now she had a bad feeling. Are you prepared? Yu Zifeng icily looked at his opponent. His right hand slowly grasped his sword hilt. The instant he gripped that hilt, a cold aura shot out in all directions. Come. Zhu Feng's guard was at its peak. A spear appeared in his hands, and his aura also erupted out. Careful. Yu Zifeng's voice rang out along with the unsheathing of a blade. That ringing was like a dragon cry, and a bolt of lightning seemed to have appeared on the martial arena. That bolt was the light from his sword. Fast. Too fast. The instant others saw Yu Zifeng take out his sword, his sword had already reached Zhu Feng's body. Zhu Feng had long since been on guard, but he had still never imagined Yu Zifeng's sword would be so terrifying. It was already next to him by the time he reacted, and he hastily went to block. With an explosive bang, Zhu Feng was sent flying by a terrifying force. Inside, he was absolutely horrified. If Yu Zifeng hadn't purposely given him a warning at the beginning, he might not have been able to react in time and would have died. That sword of his was too terrifying. At the same time, he blessed his luck that he had been comparatively more humble than the other disciples. That was probably why Yu Zifeng had given him that warning. Careful. Just as Zhu Feng was retreating, a sharp attack went straight for his abdomen. In fact, he could practically feel the sword stabbing into his body. Zhu Feng used his full strength to twist his body, bringing his spear to block. The instant that blade was about to reach his body, he managed to block it. But although he had blocked it, that energy behind it sent him flying once more. When he once more landed on the ground, he stiffened, his neck suddenly cold. A sword was placed right next to his neck. You've lost. The entire crowd was silent. Both parties were unable to believe this. Yu Zifen was standing next to Zhu Feng, his sword right next to his neck. With just a thought from him, Zhu Feng's head would fall. A touch of admiration appeared in Long Chen's eyes. He quietly said to Tang Wan'er, Yu Zifen really is a genius. He has already stepped onto the sword Dao. He'll definitely be an amazing figure in the future. Sword cultivators were extremely rare. Although there were many people who used swords, those people were only using their swords as tools, and not their life. Each true sword cultivator was worthy of respect. That was because their sword Dao would have to be comprehended on their own. Others were unable to help them. Otherwise, with Yu Zifeng's talent, Ling Yanzi would have long since taken him as an apprentice. But sword cultivators were different from other cultivators, and there was nothing Ling Yanzi could do as a master for Yu Zifeng. Among 10,000 sword cultivators, there would be 10,000 different sword Daos. None of them were the same. That was because each sword cultivator's path would have to be comprehended on their own. Tang Wan Er nodded. She also was surprised to see that the low key Yu Zifeng was actually so powerful. But the two of them also knew that his shocking growth definitely had to do with the huge righteous and corrupt battle he had experienced. In the moments between life and death, he had comprehended his own sword Dao. Now, he defeated a core disciple in just three moves, and he clearly still had strength to spare. That kind of combat ability was shocking. Zhu Feng sighed and nodded. I've lost. Thank you for your leniency. Yu Zifeng sheathed his sword behind his back, turning and jumping back into the crowd behind Long Chen. Tu Fang and the other elders were delighted. Yu Zifeng had actually stealthily soared to such a level. Another amazing expert had appeared in their monastery. In the future monastery competition, that would definitely be helpful. Hey, can a certain someone be more conscientious and not keep waiting for other people to urge them? How do you not have the slightest bit of shame? Hurry up and pay up, shouted Guo Ran. Luo Bing had only just recovered from her shock. Hearing Guo Ran's ridicule, she almost lost control. She once more threw out her badge, and Tu Fang laughingly received it, withdrawing another 80,000 merit points. This was already the third time, so it had been a total of 240,000 merit points. Even for Luo Bing, the number one person besides the sect leader of the 36th monastery, someone with a great deal of wealth, this kind of loss was still unacceptable. Even Tu Fang, an enforcement elder, only obtained 40,000 merit points a year. Those merit points had to be exchanged for required items, and so he didn't have many of them. Most importantly, Tu Fang was an upright person, and would never use little tricks to give himself more benefits. So in truth, even Elder Sun had had even more resources than him. Of course, those savings had all been left to Long Chen now. Perhaps that was just fate. Elder Sun had used a bunch of contemptible means to acquire all kinds of things. But in the end, 
they had all been used to raise the monastery's disciples. Luo Bing possessed a high authority and also used some underhand means to gain more profit. It was already a common affair for her to abuse her power for her own benefit. There wasn't a single elder in the 36th monastery who hadn't been vexed by her. So it was a fact that she possessed a huge amount of wealth. But those 240,000 merit points still caused her incredible pain. Other elders might work for their entire lives without saving up that much. In the following rounds, Luo Bing continued to be ruthless, sending out four core disciples consecutively. As for Long Chen's side, Long Chen didn't send out anyone in particular. Whichever core disciples wanted to go up, could. In any case, winning was good, but losing also wasn't anything major. In those four battles, only one of their core disciples had been unlucky, losing by just a single move and being forced off the martial stage. The others had all won. Of seven rounds, they had won six and taken in 400,000 merit points. No matter how Tu Fang tried to remain calm, that excited light in his eyes still sold him out. Luo Bing's expression was incredibly unsightly now. Their cultivation base and strength was clearly a level higher than their opponents, but they were still defeated. That angered her so much, she was about to snap and start killing. Seeing her own merit points flowing away like this, Luo Bing's heart dripped blood. That was over half her savings. If she really was unable to reach her goal, then those merit points would all have been wasted. Taking a deep breath, she glanced stealthily at a man beside her and muttered a few things. That man nodded and smiled sinisterly. He jumped onto the martial stage, icily glancing at everyone. I am a favored. I'd like to challenge that beautiful girl to come up. I've taken a liking to you. Hearing that, Long Chen's eyes narrowed, and killing intent surfaced in his eyes. Chapter 292 Gu Yang Battles a Favored Translator Born to be following that person's shout, Long Chen's expression became slightly colder. When it came to controlling his emotions, Long Chen was definitely an expert. But the instant that man's gaze fell on Tang Wan or, his killing intent was ignited. If others insulted him, Long Chen would just smile. But if someone touched one of his taboos, he was unable to control his feelings. Tang Wan Er's expression was icy cold, and killing intent surfaced in her eyes as well. She was just about to jump onto the stage when a voice rang out. Long Chen, let me battle. That voice came from Gu Yang. Both Long Chen and Tang Wan Er were startled. Although Gu Yang was powerful. He wasn't a favored. The odds of losing were too high. Long Chen thought about it for a while before nodding. You can go. Gu Yang was delighted. He knew that this was extremely risky, but he was unable to suppress his battle intent. He was looking forward to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with a favored. According to common sense, Long Chen should not have accepted. Gu Yang might be strong, but his chances of victory were low. That was something that involved 80,000 merit points. But Long Chen could understand Gu Yang's thirst. In Gu Yang's eyes, this battle wasn't in order to gamble for resources, but a way for him to see what level he had reached. As for that favored, seeing that it wasn't Tang Wan Er, but a random core disciple, who had come to face him, he was infuriated. This was clearly their attempt at humiliating him. He icily glared at them. Good. Since you want to court death, don't blame me. Gu Yang got on the martial stage and glared at that favored. I hope that when you die, you also won't blame me. Ha ha ha. That favored's fury somehow turned into laughter. Someone like you dares to be arrogant? Die you little pig. That favored suddenly roared, and his aura exploded out. A berserk energy caused his feet to leave behind two footprints on the martial arena as he suddenly charged out at Gu Yang, smashing out with his fist. Gu Yang had long since circulated his spiritual key to its peak. With a harsh shout, runes lit up on his body and a vast aura shot out of him as well. He punched out. Boom. The instant their two fists met. The entire martial stage shook. Powerful gale shot out in every direction, causing everyone's clothes to blow back Novaloon.com The both of them then instantly retreated a couple steps. That favored couldn't help being astonished. So you have a couple tricks. But let me see just how many of my fists you can receive. That favored snorted, and his fists began to smash at Gu Yang. This was the first time Gu Yang had an opportunity to fight a favored one against one. Battle intent soared off him. He repeatedly roared. Facing off against him with his own fists. Boom. 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 The two of them were both brute strength style fighters. Each time their fists collected, the entire martial arena would shake, and powerful gales would explode out, chilling everyone. Gu Yang is so powerful. He can actually withstand a favored, exclaimed Tang Wan Er. Favored were all supposed to be incomparably powerful. 
the fact he could exchange over 10 blows without losing was already out of everyone's expectations. This is still just the warm-up, so it's still too early to say. Long Chen shook his head. How could a favored only have this little skill? And as he expected, after over a hundred intense collisions, they once more separated. Not bad. It's been a while since I've exercised my body. But if you think this the limit of my power, you would be gravely mistaken. Now I'll let you see what true strength is. Earthen armor. A mark appeared over his forehead, and a powerful energy exploded out, causing the land to tremble. That favored's clothes burst off his upper body, revealing his skin that looked like it was made of rock. In fact, his entire body grew taller, and the lines covering his arms were very rock-like. He roared, and stamping on the ground, he charged at Gu Yang with a fist. Rock fist. Gu Yang used his full strength to block, but he was still sent flying dozens of meters. Even once he landed on the ground, he still stumbled back several steps before stabilizing. In the end, he even coughed up a mouthful of blood, causing Tang Wan'er's expression to change. Gu Yang had finally been injured. Crap. Song Mingyuan and the others were all shocked. If he was wounded with just one blow, how could he fight? Don't worry about it. Gu Yang still has moves. Consoled Long Chen. Long Chen had exchanged blows with Gu Yang before, and he knew his physical body was extremely powerful. This little injury was unable to affect his strength. Looks like you're quite stubborn. That's good. I'll just have to smash you to mincemeat. That favored once more charged at Gu Yang. Gu Yang's blood was roiling inside, but his battle intent was still soaring. Seeing that person charge at him, Gu Yang smiled coldly. His spatial ring shook, and a golden spear appeared in his hands. Gu Yang's feet sunk down slightly. Ancestral blood support. A rune lit up at Gu Yang's forehead. His runes had originally just been covering his four limbs, but now they spread to cover his entire body, even densely covering his face. He appeared very frightening now. This was one of Gu Yang's trump cards. By activating his ancestral blood support, his strength would explode to an unprecedented level. He viciously smashed that spear straight at the charging favored. Boom. The instant that spear collided with the fist that was covered in earthen lines, a metallic explosion rang out. The martial stage beneath their feet caved in from their impact. That favored's arm shook intensely, and a force he couldn't block sent him flying. He hastily stabilized himself. Appalled. Gu Yang's golden spear had been snatched from the corrupt path's genius. Yin Luo. Its weight was alarming, and that favored was knocked back almost 300 meters before just barely managing to stabilize himself. When he finally stabilized, Luo Bing's disciples all breathed a sigh of relief. As for the disciples on Long Chen's side, they all sighed that it was a pity. That favored was just a couple inches off from the edge of the martial stage. If he had just been pushed back slightly more, then according to the rules, he would have lost. Turning back to look behind him, that favored sighed in relief at his close call. Turning to look at Gu Yang's spear, greed sparked in his heart. Your weapon. I want it. That favored could instantly tell that Gu Yang's spear was a treasure and immediately wanted to take it for himself. It seemed he had already forgotten that this wasn't the 36th monastery. You want it? Come take it. Gu Yang roared, his spear attacking that favored. In response, that favored didn't hold back any of his spiritual key, and his fist smashed into Gu Yang's spear. With another loud metallic ringing, everyone was shocked to see sparks flying the instant that fist and spear met. It was as if that fist was made of steel. A rare earth cultivator. Tu Fang exclaimed. This favored had been someone born with an innate earth energy, but because he was a favored, that earth energy had transformed, becoming more rock energy. Not only did that increase his physical strength, it made his physical body incredibly hard. In other words, both his attack and defense had been sharply improved. Gu Yang's spear continuously collided with his fists over and over again. Gu Yang's blows were incomparably valiant, and he surprisingly was forcing back that favored step by step. Excellent. If this continues, Gu Yang should win. Luo Kang's blood was boiling just from watching this. You're wrong. If this continues, Gu Yang will lose. Long Chen shook his head. What? Gu Yang has clearly taken the advantage. Luo Kang didn't understand. I've heard that earth cultivators are specialized in battles of attrition just like wood cultivators. Looking at Gu Yang right now, his attacks are like a torrent of rain, and it looks extremely impressive, as if he has taken the advantage. But in reality, this is extremely unfavorable for him. That golden spear is too heavy, and it's using up too much of his physical energy. He won't be able to continue attacking like that for long. 
I estimate that he'll only be able to keep this up for a quarter hour before he's exhausted and his strength declines. At that time, the final result is that he'll be defeated. Then what should we do? Should we give him a reminder? Long Chen shook his head. Don't. A loss is a loss. It's not something bad. This way he'll be able to get a better understanding of himself. He'll realize what his strong points and what his weak points are. The benefits more than make up for the loss. As for the lost merit points, he, this is just a game. The fact that there will be winners and losers isn't anything major. If a person wants to become an expert, first they have to understand themselves. That's something no one else can do for them. This is his battle. Let him understand it himself. But then Long Chen's tone became angry. But this bastard favored really is repulsive. I almost wanted to go up myself and crush him. He wants to take liberties with my Heaven Earth faction's old boss? HMPH. He really doesn't know what death is. If this had happened back when I was young, I would have long since made him kneel in front of me. Long Chen words immediately caused Tu Fang and the other elders to not know whether to laugh or cry. But Tang Wan Er did appear a bit gratified. Guo Ran immediately did some bootlicking. Exactly. Exactly. Even if someone has to take liberties with a woman, only boss has the qualifications to do that. Who does he think he is? Nice. Long Chen nodded, giving Guo Ran a thumbs up. Both of you shut up, raged Tang Wan Er. Long Chen and Guo Ran obediently stopped talking, focusing back on the stage. Gu Yang's imposingness had reached its peak. His spear repeatedly forced his opponent back. But their hearts sunk when they saw that it really was just like Long Chen had said. That favored was purposely drawing out the battle. Once Gu Yang was out of energy, he would immediately counterattack. Haha, <laughs> that little fellow Gu Yang really is not bad. He's actually seen through his opponent's strategy. Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. Chapter 293 Despicably Shameless Translator Born to be as soon as Long Chen finished speaking, everyone saw Gu Yang suddenly erupt with power, his strength capable of shaking mountains and rivers. Mountain Destruction Spear Gu Yang had concentrated all his energy onto his spear. This one attack contained all his heart and soul. It turned out this entire time, Gu Yang had been storing energy, waiting to release his peak attack. Gu Yang was someone who was extremely powerful. The person who had awakened his ancestral mark the earliest amongst the monastery's disciples. His skill at using his ancestral mark was extremely refined. And other than Long Chen and Tang Wan Er, he was the strongest disciple in the monastery. To him, this battle was extremely important. If he won, his Dao heart would become incredibly steady, and it would be easier for him to break through bottlenecks. But if he lost, that would be a grave impact to him, to Gu Yang. This was an extremely risky gamble and he couldn't lose. The instant Gu Yang started his attack, that favored's expression changed. He realized he had been duped. During that intense battle, Gu Yang had actually been storing energy the entire time, and he hadn't realized. There was no need for him to face off against Gu Yang directly. Gu Yang was extremely powerful, and so he had been doing his best to dodge and just defend this entire time. His greatest advantage were his defense and endurance. The instant he had seen Gu Yang begin to crazily attack, he had actually sneered inside. By attacking like that, there was no way he would be able to endure for long. The instant Gu Yang became tired, he would be able to easily kill him. But he had never imagined that Gu Yang had been secretly accumulating energy this entire time. Now that the energy he had accumulated had erupted, Gu Yang's speed had reached its peak. There was no way he could dodge. Gu Yang's power completely locked him in place. He could only take it head on. That favored solemnly formed an extremely bizarre hand seal, and a rune lit up over his forehead. A shield of rock around a foot thick appeared in front of him. Rock Essence Shield. Countless lines were shining on that shield, and it almost looked like it was made of steel. It appeared incredibly sturdy. Boom. But the instant Gu Yang's golden spear collided with that huge rock shield, that incredibly sturdy shield completely broke apart. The golden spear continued forward slamming into him and sending him flying. While flying through the air, he also vomited out a mouthful of blood. He was shocked that his strongest defense had been broken. And not only had his shield been broken, his internal organs were acutely shaken by the leftover force of that spear. He was practically unable to believe this. He had absolute confidence in his defense. That was why Luo Bing had depended on him and sent him out first. He should have had a high chance of victory even against Tang Wan Er. But now he had just been defeated by a core disciple that wasn't even a favored. He was still filled with disbelief. As he coughed out more blood, he hastily stabilized himself. 
but a golden spear had already reached him, stopping just before his forehead. Gu Yang icily said, you've lost. Gu Yang was currently extremely pale and gasping for breath. Obviously that last attack had used up all his energy. If this attack hadn't worked, he would have lost, but he had won. If Gu Yang hadn't stopped his spear right now, that favored would already be a corpse. That favored couldn't help being both startled and furious, as well as unwilling. He had lost? Seeing how pale and exhausted Gu Yang was, a ferocious light suddenly shined in that favored's eyes, and he grabbed Gu Yang's spear. Idiot. You're the one who's lost. That favored roared and pushed the spear into Gu Yang. Being already exhausted, Gu Yang couldn't even resist. The bottom of his spear smashed into his stomach, and the sounds of bones cracking rang out. Gu Yang flew back, vomiting out blood, landing outside the martial arena. Bastard, you're asking for death. We'll kill you all. That favored had clearly lost, and then despicably attacked even though he had lost. That immediately ignited the fury of all the 108th Monastery's disciples. HMPH, I never conceded. So how can you say I lost? Since he didn't even dare follow through. All that proves is he really is a pig. Courage is also a part of strength. Or did you not know that? That favored sneered at them. Even Long Chen had stood up now. Veins bulging on his hands. He was about to charge forward and tear apart this shameless bastard. Luo whatever. These are your monastery's disciples. Said Long Chen icily. HMPH. Adopt the martial stage. How could you possibly be soft-hearted and lenient? For victory, you can't possibly be too afraid to be rough. All that can be said is that this proves you're all idiots. Why aren't you hurrying and up and handing over the merit points? Sneered Luo Bing. Tu Fang's expression was dark. Long Chen, what do you say? His meaning was obvious. This was too much. As long as Long Chen gave the order, they would immediately start fighting. In any case, if a fight started, Ling Yunzi definitely wouldn't just watch. Give them to her. Long Chen shook his head. Now wasn't the time for that. Tu Fang could only hand over 80,000 merit points back to Luo Bing. Seeing their expressions, Luo Bing was delighted. Seeing those kinds of expressions was what she delighted in the most. Only then could she feel refreshed. Her temperament was simply twisted that way. And when she saw that Long Chen, who had always been as calm as water, also released such a furious expression, she was especially delighted. Gu Yang was defeated and even his golden spear had been taken away by his opponent. According to the martial stage's unwritten customs, martial arts who couldn't even keep a hold of their weapons didn't have the face to take them back. Gu Yang walked over to Long Chen while being supported by a member of the healing hall. Sorry Long Chen, I lost. Gu Yang surprisingly bent his knees, kneeling down. He felt so ashamed that he might die. Long Chen had given him a precious opportunity, but in the end, he had really been too lenient throwing away his chance at victory. He felt so ashamed that he was unable to even show his own face. Just as Gu Yang's knees were about to hit the ground, Long Chen grabbed his collar. Are you even a man? Isn't it just a loss? It's nothing big. Furthermore, even if it counts as your loss, their victory was also not earned. You didn't lose any face, raged Long Chen. When the Jiuli secret realm opens, that fellow will definitely also enter. If you want to wipe away your shame, then just kill him in the secret realm and take your weapon back. Long Chen didn't bother keeping his words private. All of them heard it extremely clearly. Tu Fang's heart shook. It was a grave crime to kill members of the same sect within the Jiuli secret realm. But in the end, he didn't say anything. Later, he would have to give Long Chen a reminder in private. Kill me? Ha! Keep dreaming. If you dare try to attack me in the Jiuli secret realm, I'll definitely kill you. That favored had already returned amongst his disciples and had been excitedly examining his new spear. He couldn't help mocking him when he heard Long Chen's words. I'll listen to you Long Chen. This time I swear that I'll never disappoint you again in this lifetime. Gu Yang took a deep breath. He was extremely solemn. Long Chen nodded. He icily glanced at Luo Bing and her disciples mocking sneers. Good. Since you want to make this game bigger, I'll make it bigger. In the next round. Let's switch it up a bit and have a fight between pairs. Luo Bing smiled sinisterly. Two men jumped onto the stage. The two of their auras were extremely dark and cold, causing people to feel a chill. They were both favored. And surprisingly, the two of them looked the exact same. They were twins. Twins who were both favored. That really was shocking. I am Bo Shidung. I am Bo Shixi. The two of them spoke at the same time. One of them glanced at the other and that person immediately shut their mouth. The other continued. Us two brothers would like to exchange pointers with you country bumpkins. 
If you feel like it's not fair, you can also send two favored to fight us. Us brothers won't refuse any comers. Both their gazes immediately fell on Tang Wan'er and Long Chen. Their gazes filled with provocation. Long Chen, leave the two of them to me, said Tang Wan'er. Long Chen hesitated. Then you have to promise me to use your killer moves. You can't show any leniency. Long Chen knew Tang Wan'er's character. He could tell these two were a bit odd. They most likely had their own extremely powerful attacks, which were most likely combined techniques. Long Chen was sure that Tang Wan'er was shockingly powerful. After merging with that Dao mark, Tang Wan'er's strength had reached a terrifying level. Even he was unable to tell just what level she had reached. But there was one thing he was sure of. Tang Wan'er's real strength should not be at all inferior to his own. That was because he could sense the pressure that the current Tang Wan'er gave him. I promise you, I will definitely be going all out, said Tang Wan'er seriously. After seeing what had happened to Gu Yang, all the monastery's disciples were furious. They were really too hateful Novaloon.com CM Gu Yang had clearly won, but he had been lenient in the end, not taking his opponent's life. But then that opponent had been absolutely shameful and despicable, launching a sneak attack and even snatching Gu Yang's weapon. Tang Wan'er, who normally didn't like fighting, was now filled with killing intent. Even if Long Chen hadn't warned her, she would definitely not make the same mistake as Gu Yang. If she had the chance, she would kill. When those two brothers saw that only Tang Wan'er came up and that Long Chen hadn't moved, they mocked. Little fellow, are you afraid of death and don't dare come up? Ah so he was a coward. I see, I see. You two should shut up. For just you two, I am more than enough, said Tang Wan'er icily. These two brothers both smiled lewdly. He, with a beauty like you attending to us brothers, that really is more than enough. Boom. Suddenly, heaven and earth changed. Millions of wind blades appeared behind Tang Wan'er. Covering up the very sun and sky. Die. Chapter 294 Wind Blades Fill the Sky Translator. Born to be die. Tang Wan'er furiously shouted. And she formed a hand seal. Space began to shudder as the sky full of wind blades went straight for the two of them. Those millions of wind blades were like a huge flood. The terrifying wind blades cut through the space. Causing heaven and earth tremble. An ear-piercing sound rang out from them that sounded like scraping iron. And the observers all felt a chill inside. Even Long Chen was shocked. Tang Wan'er's wind blades had already been condensed to an incredibly solid state. The chilliness coming from them was incredibly terrifying. Tang Wan'er's old wind blades had usually been several feet long, but now these wind blades were only an inch or two long, looking like tiny crescent blades. However, these tiny wind blades were at least ten times stronger than her old wind blades. Just looking at them caused a person to feel numb. Those two brothers hadn't placed Tang Wan'er in their eyes before and that was why they dared be so mocking. But the instant they saw this sky full of wind blades, they both let out a scream of fright. They both took out a strange shield at the same time. Those shields looked like iron cooking pots. Standing back to back, the two of them looked like an iron ball. Tang Wan'er's wind blades caused sparks to fly when they struck that iron ball. It was as if that iron ball was struck by a giant wave, and it was sent flying. Not good. Tang Wan'er's wind blades were too terrifying. Almost like a flood. Although they were unable to break through that iron ball, they did send them flying almost out of the martial stage. Suddenly that ball split open and two flying claws shot out at Tang Wan'er. One, those flying claws were between five to six feet long, like huge hands with exceptionally sharp fingers. Iron chains were attached behind them. The two flying claws flew out in an extremely crafty manner. The instant those flying claws were about to reach Tang Wan'er, the claws suddenly opened up, appearing as if they had come to life. Although both claws had shot out at the same time, one was ahead while the other was behind. Their cooperation was perfect. If she dodged one, she wouldn't have time to dodge the other. Tang Wan'er's expression didn't change at all. Storm shield. Dense wind blades enveloped Tang Wan'er. Those two flying claws smashed onto that defense. Her two opponents were actually delighted by her actions. With a loud shout, their auras erupted. Amongst favored, those two were actually individually much weaker. However, their minds were connected, and their cooperation skills had reached perfection. Due to that, the monastery had given them a special set of weapons to make their attacks bizarre and incredibly incisive. Those two flying claws had been created by a powerful forging master. There were many profound ways to use them, and they hid powerful runes. Once those runes were activated, those two claws would become incredibly powerful, easily capable of crushing steel. The two of them activated those runes when their claws struck Tang Wan'er's defenses. Bang. 
the sky of wind blades burst apart. What? The monastery's disciples were appalled. The space Tang Wan'er had been in was empty? She had died without a corpse under their two claws. Careful. Those two people had been celebrating that they had killed Tang Wan'er when Luo Bing's shout rang out. The two of them suddenly felt a sensation of deathly crisis, and they felt a breeze behind them. The two of them quickly raised their shields to block. Boom. Their hasty defense blocked a powerful attack, but the two of them were sent tumbling through the air. One of them only just barely got up and still had no idea what had happened when a silent wind blade slashed across his waist. That person screamed miserably. Blood flew out, followed along with some of his innards. Long Chen sighed in relief. Tang Wan'er had finally learned the true meaning of battle. Her attacks were no longer the same as before. Of the people present, only Tu Fang, Luo Bing, and Long Chen knew what had happened. As soon as those two flying claws had appeared, Tang Wan'er had realized those weapons were extremely bizarre and most likely weren't easy to handle. There was no reason for her to take them head on. She had only summoned out that huge shield of wind blades to cover up everyone's line of sight. In reality, the area behind the shield was completely empty. Tang Wan'er had long since slipped away stealthily, using wind blades to screen herself before arriving behind the two of them. Just as the two of them thought they had killed her, she suddenly struck. Were it not for Luo Bing's interference, the two of them would already be dead. But even so, after her first attack hadn't struck, she had immediately targeted one of them who had already lost his head out of fear, directly sending a wind blade out with her spiritual strength. The wind blades that filled the sky all had Tang Wan'er's spiritual imprint on them. She could send them out for sudden attacks at any time. Of course, such an attack was rather weak. Previously, such an attack was unable to cause injuries to favored. But now Tang Wan'er's wind blades had changed, and they had become incredibly powerful. Just one random attack was able to slice open that favored's abdomen. In fact, if he had been one step slower, he would have been directly cut in half. In any case, he was now screaming, blood overflowing from his wound. He quickly went to run off the martial stage, holding his injury closed as best as he could. If you want to run, then leave your life behind. Tang Wan'er's icy shout rang out. Her hatred of these two had already reached a pinnacle. They had humiliated and insulted them, and then they had attempted to kill her just now. She naturally wouldn't be merciful. The entire martial stage was surrounded by her wind blades. This region was her domain. She didn't even need to personally raise a hand. With just her spiritual strength, hundreds of wind blades surged over to that man. That person's soul almost fled his body in fright. He hastily raised his shield, but that shield could only block one side. Just as he was about to be cut to pieces, his twin rushed over, and the two of them tightly merged their shields again. These wind blades were once again not able to pierce through these special shields formed from a forging master, but this was only defending. The instant they had attempted to launch a sudden attack on Tang Wan'er, she had almost cut them to pieces. Now they were in an extremely awkward position. Tang Wan'er had already been sneak attacked once, so she definitely wouldn't fall for it at all if they tried it again. All the wind blades Tang Wan'er had condensed were now crashing onto their shields. As soon as they split apart, they would immediately be hit. Currently, they were like a tortoise that had shrunk back into its shell, not daring to peek its head out. If they were to peek their head out, their heads would be cut off instantly. The two of them were already completely terrified. Tang Wan'er's attack had completely restrained them. They had no way to defeat Ring her anymore. With their shields forming a sphere around them, they began to roll over a Tang Wan'er in an attack. They hoped she would strike their sphere and send them rolling out of the martial stage. That way, even though they would lose, they could at least have an excuse that they had accidentally rolled out, and hadn't really lost. But Tang Wan'er already predicted that intention of theirs. How could she let them do as they pleased? No matter how that ball tried to roll out, her wind blades would force them back. After all, within that sphere, they were unable to bring out much strength. Everyone's expressions were strange as they watched this scene. A ball of metal was rolling around continuously on the martial stage. Everyone's gazes were all glued to that ball. Luo Bing was frowning slightly. She didn't know that much about these two twins since most of their time was spent in seclusion as they familiarized themselves to their bizarre weapons. But there was one thing that she knew. Their cooperative strength was incredible. And in a group battle, the two of them working together were capable of blocking four or even five favored at once. In a two versus two, the two of them had always been unbeatable within the same realm. Other than a certain disciple, these two were the highest ranked disciples in their monastery. 
the monastery had placed high hopes on them for the upcoming opening of the Jiuli secret realm. At first, seeing them rolling around defensively in that ball without attacking, she had thought they were just adjusting themselves or perhaps thinking of a plan to use against these attacks. But after an hour, even the people watching the battle were getting tired. Guo Ran finally sighed. This pair of brothers were foreordained to have a tragic end. This is all the will of the heavens. Song Mingguan didn't understand what he was talking about. Why? Do you remember what those two brothers were called? I think one was called Bo Shidung, and the other was called Bo Shixi. Correct. One called Bo Shidung, one called Bo Shixi. Combine them together and you get worthless good for nothing. Two. Don't you see them rolling left and right without going anywhere? Could it be that their parents had predicted this day would come? As expected, experts are everywhere. Guo Ran explained with admiration. Everyone, that ball continued to roll around. The people outside were fine, but the two inside were already completely dizzy. As for the one whose abdomen had been split open, although he was doing his best to hold his wound closed, some of his intestines had already spilled out. That kind of scent was disgusting for both of them. Then adding on the spinning, they were both ready to puke. Both of them knew that just continuing like this wasn't a solution, but they also didn't dare to leave their defense. Now they were both thinking of ways to concede. If they directly conceded, their endings would definitely not be good. If they dared to do so, then with Luo Bing's vicious nature, she would definitely make the two of them eat their own crap. The two of them began to wildly curse as viciously as they could. They wanted to infuriate Tang Wan Er. In any case, they had absolute confidence in their defense. Only if Tang Wan Er lost control of her fury would they have a chance of being launched out of the martial stage. At the beginning, Tang Wan Er hadn't really cared to try to cut open their defense. But as soon as they began to curse her crazily, she was completely infuriated. Forming a hand seal, the wind blades behind her congregated into a single body, forming a huge wind blade that had to be over 300 meters long. As soon as that wind blade appeared, it was as if space had completely frozen. A terrifying pressure shot out in all directions. A certain man, who had remained at Luo Bing's side this entire time with his eyes completely closed, suddenly opened his eyes. A trace of shock appeared in his originally apathetic face. He stared tightly at Tang Wan Er's huge wind blade. Torrential Rain Slash Chapter 295 Fledgling Chosen Translator Born to be Torrential Rain Slash Following Tang Wan Er's shout, that huge wind blade behind her slashed down on that ball, looking as if it was a heavenly blade cutting through space. The instant Tang Wan Er's attack was condensed to its peak, Luo Bing and the man behind her were shocked. Even Tu Fang was shocked. Long Chen had also stood up from his chair, pleasantly surprised. Will, Long Chen's heart pounded. He was certain that this attack of Tang Wan Er's contained her will. That so-called will was a very profound and mysterious word. It was an even higher realm than just imposingness or confidence. Attacks containing will were practically alive. They contained the attacker's entire mind and spirit. The reason Long Chen was so shocked was because the only two people he knew of whose attacks had contained will were Mo Nian and Yun Luo. Those people who could use will like this were generally all chosen. He hadn't expected Tang Wan Er to have unconsciously advanced to this level. Boom. That huge blade smashed heavily onto that sphere. That sphere, which had yet to break even after all her previous attacks, instantly burst apart. Two figures shooting out like cannonballs. Although those two had been inside the sphere, they were able to sense what had been happening outside. Seeing Tang Wan Er become infuriated, they had actually been celebrating. Their hope was for Tang Wan Er to strike them in her fury and send them flying out of the martial arena. Then they could emerge from their shields with an unwilling and dejected expression, sighing that they had lost slightly due to luck. They had been completely confident in their shields. But the instant Tang Wan Er's attack, which shockingly contained her terrifying will, had struck them, they had immediately become terrified. At first, they had been worried that their shield would be able to hold out against her attack but that the impact from her powerful attack might shake them inside their ball so hard that they became imbeciles. However, they had clearly been worried for nothing. Tang Wan Er's one attack immediately shattered their shields and the two of them were smashed to pulp. With that kind of powerful impact, their bodies had literally changed shape, becoming two formless lumps that tumbled across the martial arena. With two final bangs, the two of them landed outside the martial arena. They were vomiting out blood and the blood was filled with broken pieces of their organs. Their auras were quickly fading. Luo Bing's expression changed, and she quickly rushed over to them. They were paper-white and about to stop breathing. She saw their Dao marks appear on their foreheads. 
Those innate Dao marks could only be kept with those possessing a strong enough karmic lock, but when favored were about to die, their Dao marks would automatically respond by leaving. They would either go find another owner, or they would disappear back into heaven and earth. Seeing her two favored about to breathe their last breaths, Luo Bing was terrified. She placed her hands atop their foreheads and her enormous spiritual strength poured into their souls, helping to stabilize their souls that were about to leave their bodies. With Luo Bing's assistance, their Dao marks gradually faded back into their bodies, allowing Luo Bing to relax. If two favored had died here, she would be done for. Her big brother, the 36th monastery sect leader, would definitely curse her to death. Once their souls stabilized, she also fed them spirit pills. Now the two of them definitely wouldn't die, but the two of their injuries were too severe. Most likely, it would require at least three months before they could even get out of bed. She had no assurance the two of them would be recovered in time for the opening of the Jiuli secret realm. Thinking of that, Luo Bing's expression became icy, and her eyes were like two sharp swords that glared at Tang Wan Er. What a vicious girl. Tang Wan Er didn't even bother glancing at Luo Bing. She was neither overly obedient nor overbearing as she said. Compared to Senior, this junior still needs to properly cultivate much more. Although her words didn't contain the slightest curse word, the ridicule in them could not be more clear. No matter how vicious she was, it was much better than how despicable they were. Tang Wan Er didn't even glance at Luo Bing before jumping off the martial stage and returning to Long Chen's side. Long Chen was incredibly excited. If there weren't too many people, he probably would have hugged Tang Wan Er tightly. Old boss is mighty. Long Chen stood up straight and gave her an extremely deliberate salute. The other monastery disciple also followed along with Long Chen. Tang Wan Er was blushing. This scoundrel was also doing things outside people's expectations, and she had no idea how to reply. Wan Er, congratulations, you've become an fledgling chosen level expert. As long as you can continue to remain undefeated and maintain a steady Dao heart, you'll definitely become a true chosen in the future, said Tu Fang excitedly. Tang Wan Er didn't actually know what had happened, but seeing him worshipfully looking at her, she really felt too awkward. Luo Bing's expression was extremely ugly as she watched Tu Fang celebrate. Her goal had been to display a show of strength to the 108th monastery and humiliate them in order to make a good show for the first monastery. But now the ones being humiliated were their 36th monastery. Of nine rounds, they had only won two, and furthermore, one of them had only been won shamefully with a despicable action at the end. Furthermore, because of their provoking them, the 108th monastery had somehow managed to give birth to an fledgling chosen. Luo Bing had practically asked to be humiliated, causing her both resentment and fury. Seeing Tu Fang and them surrounding Tang Wan Er, she was incredibly vexed. She directly threw her badge to Tu Fang. Tu Fang received it and once more drew out 80,000 merit points. In total, they had gained a total of 400,000 merit points. However, Gu Yang had also lost his precious golden spear. This victory wasn't that perfect. Leave the final round to me. Following that indifferent voice, a man lightly jumped onto the martial stage. That man appeared to be just over 20 years old. His face was average, but his eyes were eagle-like, almost looking like sharp blades. That person hadn't drawn any attention before this, but as soon as he jumped onto the martial stage, he became like an unsheathed sword, and it was as if he was an entirely different person. An extremely odd aura came from that person's body. It was as if he were a grand emperor looking down on them all. And yet, no one could form any desire to resist him. Even Tu Fang's expression changed slightly. He had actually made an oversight. Originally, he had thought this person was just an ordinary favored. But now that he jumped onto the martial stage, just from his arrogant will, he could immediately see the shocking truth. Chosen level disciple. It was obvious that person was a powerful chosen or there was no way he would possess such a powerful aura. Let me introduce myself. I am Jang Yifen, a chosen. You should properly remember my name, as just knowing my name will be your greatest honor in the future. His voice was extremely indifferent. Somehow it didn't seem to contain any contempt or ridicule, yet still gave him a grand and high feeling that made them feel even more uncomfortable. I must admit that you are a bit stronger than I thought, but that still won't change the reality. Although one of you has just awoken a chosen's power, it's still just an initial stage. It's still far too early to be considered a true chosen. Within my monastery, I heard a certain joke. When I heard it, I laughed so hard I half died. I heard that some person made up some phony lies to try to gain a chosen disciple position. What a laughable joke. 
What do you think, Mr. Long Chen? The 108th Monastery's Disciples Expression Song. Although they didn't know about the matter of the first monastery blocking Long Chen's chosen disciple position, they could clearly tell this person was targeting Long Chen. First of all, don't call me Mr. As I've never taught you how to read and write. Second of all, I'm very regretful you didn't laugh yourself completely to death. If you had, we wouldn't have to see your little pretentious act here today. Long Chen shook his head. This person was definitely strong, but it seemed his show-off abilities were even stronger. But Long Chen could guess his goal, and so he deliberately mocked him back tit for tat. You want to stand out? Big bro will accompany you. A trash cultivation base, but a pretty savage mouth. Could it be that your entire cultivation is focused on your mouth? With me standing here already, how long are you planning on refusing to face reality? Jiang Yifan finally looked at Long Chen with a trace of contempt. Did you run out without taking your medication? Or did you take the wrong drugs? You, a mid-stage tendon transformation chosen, have the face to challenge me. Someone at the blood condensation realm? I really wonder, just how did you manage to make your skin so thick? Then according to what you say, let me tell you that our sect leader is standing on the mountain, challenging you to battle. Go on and fight him. Do you believe me when I say our sect leader can crush you with a single fart? Said Long Chen disdainfully. Long Chen, don't talk drivel. Tang Wan or stealthily pulled on Long Chen. This scoundrel really never had any misjivings. Ling Yun Zi, who was observing from a hundred miles away, shook his head. How did this little fellow end up so cheeky? Jiang Yifan was stunned for a moment. He hadn't expected Long Chen to turn down his provocation and still retort so incisively. For a moment, he had no idea what to say. So you don't dare to come up to this stage? I hadn't expected that you, Long Chen, someone who dared try to trick the super monastery into giving him a chosen's resources, would not have the courage to just have a simple duel with me. As expected, the rumors are true. Your 108th monastery is just a pack of destitute cheats, sneered Jiang Yifan. You can put away this little act of yours. Previously it was said that these 10 rounds would be fought by people on the same level. Do you think I'm an idiot on the same level as you? Long Chen didn't even bother with him and just left him standing on the martial arena. You like showing off? Then this stage should be big enough for you to keep acting. Then fine. If you don't want to, I won't make it hard on you. That girl who just became a fledgling chosen. I'll challenge you. I won't make it hard on you either. As long as you can receive 10 of my blows, you'll win. But if you lose, you'll leave with me. How's that? Jiang Yifan directly said his intentions on Tang Wan'er when he saw Long Chen refuse to fight. Tang Wan'er's expression was icy cold. She was just about to reply when Long Chen pulled her back and looked at Jiang Yifan carefully. Do you really want to have a decisive battle with me? If we do, someone will die. Think about it carefully. Chapter 296 No Stop Till Death Translator Born to Benevolune.com Do you really want to have a decisive battle with me? If we do, someone will die. Think about it carefully. Long Chen stared at Jiang Yifan, his eyes ice cold. Long Chen didn't like this kind of fighting. Such fighting had no meaning behind it. If you have the energy to fight here, why don't you go find some members of the corrupt path to kill? In Long Chen's eyes, the righteous path's people were really useless. Their only skills were playing dirty tricks behind people's backs, scheming, and just in general being despicable, shameless degenerates. Inner strife had become their speciality. But when they were truly facing those savage corrupt disciples, they were useless. But the main reason Long Chen didn't want to fight here was because he was constantly feeling a sensation of crisis, and he didn't want to display his abilities for everyone to see. Right now, he had to use all his time to get stronger in order to deal with that impending crisis. But then the people around him like Elder Sun and this Jiang Yifan seemed to never want to rest until they completely infuriated him. Normally. Long Chen would refrain from fighting so publicly in a meaningless fight, that would just reveal his trump cards and attract more attention. He didn't want more people like Elder Sun he didn't have time to deal with those idiots. At first, that sensation of crisis had been indistinct and weak, but as time went on, it was only growing stronger. At the same time, he also recalled that man who was able to destroy the void with a single punch from his dream. He had said a single line, time is running out. However, Panicking was not a solution. He was certain that there was something in the Jiuli secret realm that he desperately needed. That was why all his focus was on increasing his strength before entering the Jiuli secret realm. He cherished every breath of time, 
as each little bit of strength would increase his chances of survival. Over the last few weeks, Long Chen had been completely focused on training in the violent Gale Saber and the Thunderization art. As soon as he had returned from training in those, he had run into this situation. Originally, Long Chen hadn't planned on fighting. In fact, even if he had to go up, he could just jump off and admit defaturing in any case. They had won overall. But Jiang Yifan's vision was perceptive and he had immediately seen through Long Chen's weak point, placing his intentions on Tang Wan'er. Although Long Chen clearly knew Jiang Yifan was doing this deliberately, he was still unable to hold back his fury. He knew that Jiang Yifan was set on targeting him. If Long Chen continued to refuse, he would continue with his repulsive words. Although such a man was contemptible, Long Chen had no choice but to admit he had succeeded. He had succeeded in infuriating him. A battle is not a game. Of course I am indifferent to life and death. Wasn't that beautiful little sister also like that just now? Snorted Jiang Yifan. That's just because your people are too shameless and despicable. They only have themselves to blame. Tang Wan'er's expression was icy cold as she raged. Their favorite had used an absolutely despicable method when he had clearly already lost to Gu Yang, heavily injuring him and then even more shamelessly taking his weapon. And then those two twins had been even more lacking in morals, spitting out vicious obscenities to her. The goal of battle is always victory. All methods are allowed, sneered Jiang Yifan. You. Long Chen pulled back Tang Wan'er and shook his head. Have you forgotten our agreement? I'll be in charge of handling idiots, and you'll be in charge of being as beautiful as a flower. Leave such a contemptible little man to me. Having her hand held by Long Chen and seeing that smile on his face, Tang Wan'er's fury instantly evaporated. She couldn't help feeling a bit ashamed of herself. Compared to Long Chen, she really was just a temperamental child. Looking at Jiang Yifan, Long Chen said, Since you want to fight, then I'll accompany you. But for this last round, I want to increase the stakes. What do you want to increase them to? Asked Luo Bing. Luo Bing might have done her best to conceal it, but there was no way she could completely hide how excited she was that Long Chen had accepted to battle Jiang Yifan. For the last match, let's bet all the merit points we gained so far, as well as one spot to enter the Jiuli secret realm. In the crowd, Guo Ran shook slightly. He knew this extra spot was for him. Guo Ran wasn't a core disciple. He wasn't the same as Wild who had killed a favored. The monastery had long since successfully applied to have him be given a spot. But Guo Ran did not have the qualifications to enter the Jiuli secret realm. Long Chen was trying to open a back door for him. No problem. Luo Bing immediately agreed. She was completely confident in Jiang Yifan. Long Chen's increased stakes were perfect for her. She could immediately win back all her lost merit points. Furthermore, if I win, you, Luo Bing, must apologize to all my monastery's disciples and admit that you are a pig. Luo Bing's killing intent immediately sprung out. This was a naked humiliation. Was he trying to provoke her? A Xi'anchen expert? Why aren't you saying anything? If you don't dare to bet, then scram. I don't have time for your senseless games, snorted Long Chen. What if you lose? Luo Bing clenched her teeth. If I lose, our Xi'anchen monastery's new disciples will immediately disband. Long Chen's words caused both sides' people to jump. Tu Fang's expression also changed. But in the end, he didn't say anything. This bet was far. Far too big. He was willing to gamble on all the monastery's new disciples disbanding? He was crazy. Ha 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 ha. Fine. I'll agree to that. But a harsh light then shined in Luo Bing's eyes. But can your words represent all the new disciples? Will all of them listen to you? Long Chen is our boss. Even if he wanted us to go die, we wouldn't hesitate. Why would we care about disbanding? Don't worry you old BTCH. Sneered Guo Ran. Guo Ran's words immediately incited all the monastery's new and old disciples to chant in unison. Don't worry you old BTCH. Luo Bing turned purple from rage. Good. Then let's immediately set up the life and death contract. This life and death contract was just a piece of proof stating that the two of them had willingly set up a decisive battle without anyone forcing them. Their life or death was unrelated to anyone else. Although Luo Bing was angry enough to die, she wasn't stupid. Without this contract. Then once Jiang Yifan killed Long Chen, Tu Fang would immediately report it to the supermonastery and she would have to bear all the responsibility. Although they had the excuse of coming to exchange pointers, they were ranked 36th, while their opponents were ranked last. As long as they weren't an idiot, anyone would realize there was something fishy going on. Then once the supermonastery investigated this matter, even her sect leader brother wouldn't be able to protect her. 
However, as long as they had both signed a life and death contract, everything would be fine. That was something only related to the individuals themselves, and was unrelated to the monasteries. These life and death contracts were already made, and all brave and ruthless people would hold a few on their bodies to display their heroism. Zhang Yifan received two copies of the life and death contract, signed his name on both, and then handed them to Long Chen. Now it's your turn. Properly cherish this moment, as it's the last time you'll sign anything. Long Chen also signed his own name and shook his head. Careful about your blind confidence. Such a thing can be extremely dangerous. Once those two life and death contracts were signed, Tu Fang kept one while Luo Bing kept the other. That way neither party could attempt to counterfeit or cheat. However, for some reason, Luo Bing became a bit uneasy after receiving her copy of the life and death contract. That uneasiness stemmed from Tu Fang's expression. Tu Fang's expression was a bit complicated, but it wasn't overly worried. Could it be that Long Chen was really on the chosen level? But then why did she not sense any will coming from his body? But then Luo Bing relaxed again. Even if Long Chen was on the chosen level. So what? He was only at the peak of blood condensation. While Jiang Yifan had already reached the sixth heaven stage of tendon transformation. The two of them were separated by a major realm and six minor realms. Killing Long Chen wouldn't be anything difficult. Originally, Luo Bing hadn't come here to kill Long Chen. Her goal had only been to humiliate the 108th monastery and perhaps injure a couple of their disciples as a vicious slap in their face. That was to tell the 108th monastery to reign in their arrogance. There were some people they couldn't offend. That thinking might have been good, but carrying it out had been extremely difficult. Of nine battles, they had only won two. At the beginning, Luo Bing had told her disciples to use photographic jades to record this entire matter so she could send those videos to the first monastery as proof of her success. But if she were to hand over these photographic jades to the first monastery now, she really would have no more face. Was she the one giving the 108th monastery a slap in the face? Or had she sent herself there to be slapped in the face? When her hopes of a regular victory had been dashed, she had then told her favor to cripple Tang Wan Er, giving her some leeway. But as a result, Tang Wan Er wasn't crippled, but two of her favored would be bedridden for months. And so for this final round, she had to give some kind of justification to the first monastery. Hadn't Long Chen claimed himself to be on the chosen level? Whether or not it was true, they could claim that he was, and so killing him would definitely be a good thing to the first monastery. At that time, she would have managed to form a good relationship with the first monastery and the benefits would pour in. In that case, her mission would still have been completed. So no matter what, Long Chen had to die now. Otherwise, not only would she not be able to explain herself to her sect leader, she would also not be able to explain herself to the first monastery. Jiang Yifan and Long Chen stood on the martial stage. Everyone was deathly silent. A murderous aura filled the air, making it hard for people to breathe. Today, you'll definitely die, said Jiang Yifan. Long Chen shook his head. When I was young, I studied the mysteries of fate. Your name is extremely ominous. The one to die will be you. 1. HMPH. What absolute nonsense. It won't change the fact that you're destined to die today, snorted Jiang Yifan. I, Long Chen, have never liked to provoke trouble, but I also never fear trouble. I don't like killing people, but I dislike it even more when people attempt to kill me. But the thing I tolerate the least is when people place their intentions on the people beside me. If someone were to do that, that would be equivalent to touching one of my taboos. For such a person there is only one ending. No rest until death. Then let's not stop until one of us is dead. Jiang Yifan coldly shouted. And space suddenly trembled as an enormous aura soared out in all directions. Chapter 297 A Big Slap in the Face Translator Born to be then let's not stop until one of us is dead. Terrifying energy exploded out like an angry ocean. And those disciples standing beside the martial stage were immediately blown back. Other than the elders, everyone else had to retreat hundreds of meters before stabilizing in the face of Jiang Yifan's berserk energy. That kind of energy wasn't just something that pressured their physical bodies, but it also impacted their spirits. That was the will of Chosen. That was a will to be unrevealed. In front of that kind of will, others were unable to resist and would involuntarily retreat. That was the terror of Chosen. Both parties' disciples were pale in the face of that terrifying pressure. Even the 108th Monastery's disciples, people who had experienced a huge life and death battle, were forced back. They had once personally seen a battle of Chosen, but at that time, they had been too far away. 
With the chaos and smoke that had been present, they hadn't managed to see anything clearly. Furthermore, they had been in the midst of a huge battle, and hadn't had the time to observe just how terrifying Chosen were. Now that they were this close, they finally understood just how terrifying Chosen were. They were not existences they could fight. Just by relying on his aura, he was able to subdue all of them. In front of that terrifying will, they couldn't even form a will to resist. As for the 36th Monastery's disciples, they were looking at Jang Yifen worshipfully. Although they were from the same sect, Jang Yifen was a chosen, a grand existence they rarely got to see at all. It was even rarer for them to see him personally fighting. But they all suddenly saw that in the face of that berserk aura, Long Chen was still standing there completely fine. Long Chen was standing with his hands behind his back. No matter how the key waves attempted to batter him, he was like a solid boulder. His hair blew back and his clothes fluttered. His eyes were like two twinkling stars. He seemed to not receive any impact at all from Jiang Yifen's aura or will. That caused Luo Bing's pupils to shrink. The fact that Long Chen could remain unimpacted by Jiang Yifen's will meant that Long Chen was also a genuine chosen level expert. That immediately caused Luo Bing's heart to jump. So it hadn't been a lie that Long Chen was on the chosen level. Chosen were existences that had to be raised. In truth, the main thing that separated Chosen from Favored was their will. That undefeatable will was something that was groomed through countless victories. Chosen were all existences that had yet to taste defa during their will was something formed from unending victories. As they won more and more victories, their belief in their own power grew. As soon as they began to fight, they could release their will and instantly suppress other people's wills. They wouldn't even need to personally attack. What did it mean to be unrevealed? That was being unrevealed. To be able to defeat your entire enemies without lifting a finger. To be able to subdue your opponent with just a glance. However, chosen were extremely rare. They needed to be carefully groomed. First of all, a candidate to become a chosen had to possess a high enough talent. Once a person's talent level had reached an acceptable level to be a chosen, their growth would need to be carefully protected. They couldn't be permitted to run into enemies they weren't a match for. That was because once a chosen was defeated, it was more than possible for that defeat to ring to topple their confidence. They would lose their special will and would no longer be a chosen. Chosen were different from others. If they were defeated, it was very difficult for them to rise again. Due to how high they had climbed, it would be all the more miserable for them when they fell. In comparison to those who climbed up staggeringly, chosen were extremely fragile flower vases. As soon as a sect realized they had a potential chosen, they would protect them closely, not allowing them to fight any unfair fights. For example, what was happening now was clearly an unfair fight. Long Chen was only in the blood condensation realm, but he was facing a mid-tendon transformation chosen. Long Chen's display completely shocked Luo Bing and her disciples. Back when they had first seen Long Chen's cultivation base, they had been 100% sure that the story about him killing an eight-temper bone forging expert had been completely fabricated. But seeing him stand there without any aura even in the face of Jiang Yifen's aura, looking as if he were just an ordinary person, all of them were astonished. Even Jiang Yifen was shocked. Although he sensed Long Chen should possess some skill, he had never thought Long Chen would be able to ignore his aura like this. The thing that shocked him the most was that his kingly will was unable to lock down on Long Chen. When his will tried to lock down on Long Chen, it was like he didn't exist. He was unable to sense Long Chen's will. Jiang Yifen suddenly stamped down and shot forward, punching out at Long Chen. His fist brought with it a whistling gale and space droned around it. Long Chen also punched out, smashing Jiang Yifen's fist. The entire martial stage shook intensely. The metallic stage was actually unable to bear the impact of their attacks and began to crack. After that one fist, both of them were forced back a couple steps. Jiang Yifen shook out his hand. Not bad. If you were to die to just a single fist, that really would be too boring. Now's the second fist. Jiang Yifen shouted out, punching out again with even greater power. Their two fists collided again, and the martial arena beneath their feet finally collapsed completely, a huge crater forming beneath them. Having been made of steel, when it was destroyed like this, whistling steel fragments shot out in all directions. The spectating disciples were all startled and dodged those steel fragments, but there were some who hadn't reacted quickly enough and were pierced straight through. That caused all the disciples' expressions to change, and they once more fell back. This distance was still not far enough to guarantee their safety. Just the beginning of their fight was like this. Once the real fight began, it would be even more terrifying. If they were to die just from the aftershocks of their battle, that really would be a ridiculous death. 
They retreated a mile away before feeling a bit safer. Even if something big were to happen, they should still have the time to react. Haha, <laughs> good. Only like this will it be a bit interesting. Jang Yifen once more punched out. With another collision, the entire martial stage became completely covered in cracks, looking like it was on the verge of exploding. Not bad, not bad. Then let me see just how many Jang Yifen only got half his words out before a figure suddenly rushed over in front of him and gave him a vicious slap in the face that directly sent him flying out. I've gotten tired of your unchanging pompous act, said Long Chen icily. Long Chen had blocked three of Jang Yifen's fists in order to find out how strong Jang Yifen was. He would respond with exactly how much strength his opponent used. After all, Long Chen didn't dare be careless against a chosen. Taking things step by step wasn't a bad thing, but then every time, Jiang Yifen only increased his power ever so slightly, which was far too slow for Long Chen. Then he would always throw in some pretentious words in between each fist. He was fighting completely carelessly, as if he were a cat playing with a mouse. Jiang Yifen truly had been planning on playing with Long Chen slowly until he despaired. Luo Bing had already stealthily given him that mission. Their goal in coming here would only not count as a failure if he performed well enough this time. Jiang Yifen not only had to win, he had to win easily and perfectly. The best way would be for him to suppress Long Chen to death. He hadn't used his full strength at the beginning in order to give Long Chen a bit of hope. Then he could slowly destroy that hope and let him despair before killing him. But after their third exchange, Long Chen had gotten impatient, taking advantage of Jiang Yifen being careless. He had given him a vicious slap in the face. The loud ringing from that slap rang out clearly throughout the entire monastery. Which person was the best at face slapping? In the entire monastery, every person would go find Long Chen. Long Chen's face slapping technique had practically reached a divine level. His speed, power, and angle were all perfect. Most importantly, he struck like lightning, not giving anyone the slightest warning. Back then, Tang Wan'er had been filled with admiration and even wanted Long Chen to teach her this technique, but he had refused. This was his innate divine technique, adding on his constant practice of it on the idiots who found trouble for him. This one skill of his had reached perfection. Long Chen wasn't someone who would teach this to just anyone. Jiang Yifen's words had been cut off halfway, and he felt his head buzz so hard that he almost fainted. When he finally recovered slightly, he saw that he had already flown back dozens of meters, and he was still rapidly flying back. According to his current speed, he'd probably fly back over a mile. He would quickly leave the martial stage like this. If that happened, he would lose. And if he lost, he would definitely want to kill himself. If he, a grand chosen, was slapped off the martial stage by someone who was only in the blood condensation realm, he would definitely become the laughing stock of the entire Zhuanshan supermonastery. He tried to stabilize himself, but Long Chen had struck him too powerfully. Just the friction from his feet was unable to stop his inertia. Jiang Yifen quickly took out a thick staff and stabbed it into the ground. The staff dug a long ditch into the steel martial stage, cutting through the martial stage like it was mud. When Jiang Yifen finally managed to stop himself, his feet were already at the edge of the martial stage. With another foot, he would have fallen off. The entire crowd was deathly silent. They had never expected that Jiang Yifen, who just moments ago had seemed like a majestic king, would be sent to the edge of the martial stage with a single slap. Whether it was the disciples from the 108th monastery or the 36th monastery, they were all stunned. They were looking at Jiang Yifen, or more precisely, they were looking at the very clear handprint on his face. Long Chen, you're asking for death. Jiang Yifen's fury erupted, and he leaped forward, smashing his staff at Long Chen. Chapter 298 Beast Merging Art Translator Born to be this time, Jiang Yifen was truly infuriated. He no longer had any thoughts of toying with Long Chen. This smash of his staff was aiming to kill. In all his years, he had never been humiliated like this. This slap in the face made him feel worse than if he were killed. His staff shook the heavens, and the air around it seemed to explode. This was Jiang Yifen's true strength. Long Chen snorted and extended his hand. Space shook and constantly rumbled as terrifying thunder force condensed in Long Chen's hand, turning into a spear. That spear was condensed of thunder force, but due to the runes covering it, it was just like a real spear and was filled with an explosive strength that caused space to twist around it. Long Chen's lightning spear slammed into Jiang Yifen's staff. The martial stage finally was unable to endure their force anymore, and completely exploded. That martial stage was made of steel, and the instant it exploded, the entire sky was filled with whistling steel fragments. 
If it was just a couple pieces, everyone would still be able to dodge. But now they definitely weren't able to dodge this many. And most terrifying of all was that some of those fragments were the size of a table. If one of those spectators was struck, they'd be crippled if not dead. Elder Tu Fang's expression changed. He had been too focused on Long Chen's battle and had forgotten about the disciples. Now it was already too late for him to shield them. Suddenly, Tang Wanner appeared in front of everyone, forming a hand seal. A sky full of wind blades once more appeared in front of those steel fragments. Those fragments were instantly cut apart by Tang Wanner's wind blades. But there were still a couple of finer pieces that managed to sneak through the small cracks between wind blades. But a huge ice wall appeared in front of everyone. That thick ice wall shattered when those fragments collided with it. But those fragments also lost all their force and fell to the ground. Only now did all those disciples have a moment to wipe off their cold sweat. After hesitating for a moment, they all retreated even further. Even this distance was too dangerous. They saw that after the martial stage had exploded, Zhang Yifen and Long Chen were now standing a hundred meters from each other. Long Chen was a holding a lightning spear that caused space to constantly twist. He looked like a divinity descended from the heavens, appearing incredibly imposing. He, I finally have a good weapon. Long Chen was smiling. Although Devil Decapitator was stronger, it was too heavy. It was too much of a burden to his body, and it wasn't suitable for long fights. As for the flame blades he had condensed before, they were only able to handle core disciples. In front of Favored, they would collapse after a single collision, let alone a chosen. Now Long Chen's pill flame was only useful for refining pills. However, after two months of collecting lightning, his Thunder Force runes had become even stronger, and the lightning weapons they condensed were even more terrifying than before. It was actually able to block Jiang Yifen's attack. That pleased Long Chen greatly. He could fight for three straight days with this lightning spear without tiring. Jiang Yifen looked at Long Chen's spear in shock and disbelief. He had never imagined Long Chen possessed Thunder Force which was usually extremely rare. That previous exchange had caused his arm to turn a bit numb. Long Chen's explosive thunder force had tried to crazily destroy his body. He had been forced to exhaust a huge amount of spiritual key to eradicate that thunder force. HMPH. It doesn't matter that you possess thunder force. It won't change your fate. You'll still die today. Jiang Yifen charged back at Long Chen with his staff. Long Chen sneered and shook his head. You keep on repeating that others are pigs. But in truth, you're the pig. You're a typical pig that only remembers to eat and doesn't remember beatings. Does your face hurt? Long Chen's lightning spear blocked Jiang Yifen's staff and then stabbed at his stomach. Although Long Chen hadn't used spears before, he knew long weapons were most suited to keeping the enemy at bay through attacking. Hearing Long Chen's words, Jiang Yifen immediately felt a burning pain on his face. Long Chen's slap had been too vicious. Die. Jiang Yifen roared and began to truly brandish his staff sending out a fierce barrage of attacks. Long Chen didn't waste any more words. His spear also attacked fiercely. The two of their weapons repeatedly collided, causing dust to fly and releasing powerful key waves. Boss really is boss. No matter what time, seeing him fight is still so amazing. Praised Guo Ran. The other disciples nodded. Seeing Long Chen fight was even more satisfying to them than personally going out to kill their enemies. Each attack of his would make their blood boil. Tu Fang couldn't help being moved when he saw Long Chen fight Jiang Yifen without losing out at all. He thought to himself, Divergents really are divergents. This kind of combat ability is too abnormal. To be able to fight a tendon transformation chosen in the blood condensation realm, he's practically a monster. Furthermore, Long Chen's fighting was always extremely inspirational. His fighting style was extremely clean and decisive. It was as if he was born with an unrevealed confidence. Each one of his moves was extremely confident. That kind of fighting style was delightful to watch and made people's blood involuntarily heat up. The two of them crazily fought. No matter how Jiang Yifen attempted to attack, he was unable to force Long Chen into a disadvantage. That shocked all the 36th Monastery's disciples. Jiang Yifen was the strongest disciple in the 36th Monastery, but now he was helpless against a blood condensation brat. That was too shocking. Just who was this brat? Even Luo Bing's expression was extremely dark and she regretted coming here. Long Chen's strength was undeniable. Even if Long Chen couldn't be classified as a chosen, he would definitely receive special nurturing. If they were to kill Long Chen, then even with the life and death contract, that would still vex the super monastery. Although they wouldn't make things hard for them openly, there were all sorts of ways to make life hard for them behind their backs. And yet, 
If they didn't kill Long Chen, they wouldn't be able to give an explanation to the first monastery. They had helped them out, and if they didn't repay that, their good relationship would immediately end. Luo Bing might be regretful, but now that the matter had reached this point, regret was useless. Compared to irritating a part of the supermonastery, she still felt like satisfying the first monastery was more important. That was because many of the higher-ups in the supermonastery were related to the first monastery. As long as they could form a good relationship with the first monastery, this would still be worth it. And the best way to form a good relationship would be for Long Chen to die. Boom. The two of them once more retreated. Jiang Yifan icily glared at Long Chen. You might have a couple skills, but it's still far from enough. It won't change the fact that you'll die. Long Chen rested his lightning spear on his shoulder and looked at Jiang Yifan oddly. Have you forgotten the pain on your face? Die. Jiang Yifan had only just provoked Long Chen to make him fly into a fury when a single line from Long Chen made him want to explode with fury instead. Jiang Yifan roared, and lines appeared on his forehead. The instant those lines appeared, a terrifying energy surged out of his body. Those lines formed a bizarre image. Carefully looking at it, it seemed to be some kind of beast with a tiger's body and a snake's tail. As that image became brighter, some people were horrified to see two of Jiang Yifan's teeth rapidly growing longer, becoming tusks three inches long. At the same time, his eyes also changed. His pupils turned a demonic red and became vertical. Most vertical eyes came from cold-blooded magical beasts. For them to appear on a human was extremely chilling. Beast transformation. Long Chen was surprised. He had run into two people who had used beast transformation. One was Wang Cheng in the Phoenix Cry Empire, while the other was Xiao Wu who he had encountered during the monastery's disciple selection. The two of them had both been killed by him. Although he had managed to kill the two of them, he had no choice but to admit that after undergoing beast transformation, their combat strength had soared by a terrifying degree. Long Chen had also once gone through a tome explaining this technique. It said that beast transformation was an extremely savage cultivation method. You had to refine magical beast essence blood and then merge that essence blood into your body in order to gain that magical beast's bloodline strength. But human blood didn't mix with magical beast blood. They rejected each other strongly. Magical beast blood was too powerful, and the slightest carelessness would cause your body to explode. That was why beast transformation was not considered a high-level battle skill. Only a couple second-rate sects would practice it. The fact that a grand chosen would use beast transformation was inconceivable to Long Chen. Beast transformation? He, you really are ignorant. This is my beast merging art. How could it compare to that trash technique? Although this is only half my strength, it's still enough to kill you. To be able to die under my beast merging art, you should feel proud. Jiang Yifan's voice was extremely hoarse and unpleasant to listen to now. Long Chen looked at Jiang Yifan and indifferently said a single sentence. Does your face hurt? Jiang Yifan immediately let out a bestial roar and charged at Long Chen. He was much faster than before, and he arrived in front of Long Chen in an instant, his staff smashing down at Long Chen's head. Long Chen was startled by that shocking speed and hastily raised his lightning spear to block. Bang! Everyone was shocked to see Long Chen be sent flying by Jiang Yifan. His lightning spear had been destroyed by the impact. Die. Jiang Yifan malevolently laughed and once more charged at Long Chen. His staff lit up and a terrifying aura locked Long Chen in place. That staff smashed down on him once more. Long Chen took a deep breath. It seemed his thunder force was still not strong enough. It was time to switch weapons. Chapter 299 Beast Image Merges with the Body Translator. Born to be Boom. A golden saber heavily slashed onto Jiang Yifan's staff releasing a heaven-shaking explosion. The ground shattered, and dust filled the air. A figure flew back, tumbling across the ground, only stabilizing hundreds of meters away. When they saw that figure, the 36th monastery's disciples' jaws dropped to the ground. That miserable figure was the one who had just used the beast merging art, the one whose combat strength had just explosively grown, Jiang Yifan. Jiang Yifan was also completely shocked. He was staring at a figure that was slowly walking out of the dust. As that figure grew clearer, people managed to see a large golden saber resting on Long Chen's shoulder. Long Chen appeared disdainful, his arrogant will spreading out in all directions. All the 36th monastery's disciples swallowed a mouthful of saliva. They were practically unable to believe their own eyes. As for Tu Fang, he wasn't that shocked. He was extremely clear about Long Chen's strength. That previous lightning spear was just a warm-up. Now that he had used Devil Decapitator, it meant his warm-up had ended. This was the true fight. 
Boss is mighty and domineering. Guo Ran raised his fists, looking at Long Chen worshipfully. In his heart, Long Chen was an undefeatable god of war. Each time he saw Long Chen attack, he felt his blood boiling, and he would feel a desire to slaughter all his enemies. You really disappoint me. Previously you acted so strong and mighty for so long, farting your nonsense all day, but you only have this little ability? Just this is enough to become a chosen? Don't tell me that your chosen position was bought, and not earned, said Long Chen disdainfully. The reason he hadn't used his full strength before was that he was wary, as this was his first time fighting alone against a chosen. He had to be careful, as he couldn't lose. He had been hoping to figure out his opponent's abilities and skills through battling in order to find a good opportunity to strike, that would give him the steadiest chance of victory. But then he realized this fellow really was an idiot. He had almost no combat experience. All he knew how to do was to blindly strike. Just now he had even said he was only using a portion of his strength. Long Chen had thought he had something to back up his words. But as a result, he had struck out with his saber so hard that he had sent him flying. Now Long Chen felt as if he had been humiliated. If he had known this idiot was so weak, why would he have fought so carefully? He would have killed him with just a few strokes of his saber. At the same time, Long Chen realized that these so-called chosen also had large differences between them. Not all of them were on the same level as Mo Nian and Yun Luo. Impossible. How are you so strong? Jiang Yifan couldn't help being shocked and angered. Does your face hurt? You. Jiang Yifan's shock was instantly overwhelmed by his fury, and his staff once more smashed into Long Chen. Scram. Long Chen swung out Devil Decapitator in a profound arc that smashed into Jiang Yifan's staff. A huge, irresistible force smashed into Jiang Yifan, and he was sent tumbling. This time he flew back for over a mile. Landing with a mouthful of dirt. Impossible. Just what kind of monster is this Long Chen? The 36th monastery's disciples finally couldn't hold back from exclaiming in disbelief. Long Chen was too abnormal. Luo Bing was also looking at Long Chen with shock. But the instant she clearly saw his saber, she finally realized Long Chen was incredibly physically powerful. She was able to tell that his saber was definitely shockingly heavy. Most importantly, Long Chen's thin figure had tricked all of them. No one would have expected such a thin body to possess such terrifying strength. He was practically a magical beast in human form. Jiang Yifan cut a ditch into the ground, his face like an iron plow. As soon as got up, he realized his mouth was full, and he spat out a mouthful of dirt. After spitting out the dirt, he could still taste blood. He turned to glare at Long Chen. At this moment, Long Chen looked at him with great concern. Does your face hurt? Jiang Yifan slowly stood up and pointed at Long Chen. I admit that I underestimated you, but if you think that you'll be able to survive this day, then you are incredibly wrong. Congratulations on infuriating me. I've decided I'll tear your body apart piece by piece. Not only that, I'll also investigate your family. He, Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This bastard was actually trying to use his family to threaten him. Furthermore, Long Chen could sense this bastard really was narrow-minded and would actually do something like that. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. The heavens really were blind to allow such a bastard to become a chosen. Looks like I can't let you leave here alive. Long Chen icily looked at him, slowly walking over. The entire martial stage had already exploded, and a huge crater had formed for miles. There were no longer any boundaries to speak of. Ha ha ha. You want to kill me? Are you trying to make me laugh myself to death? I'll let you see a divine technique that you wouldn't be able to comprehend even if you tried for a thousand years. Jiang Yifan crazily laughed and he bit down on his finger. He rubbed that blotted up the image on his forehead, and then formed an extremely complicated hand seal. A loud rumbling rang out and the space behind Jiang Yifan became unsteady, looking as if it might explode. An extremely savage aura shot out. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. The space behind Jiang Yifan was constantly twisting, gradually forming a huge figure. That figure seemed to be made of black mist and was over 30 meters tall. The aura coming from it stifled everyone else. Jiang Yifan's eyes turned blood-colored, looking like the eyes of a fiend. Jiang Yifan swung out his staff, and space immediately buzzed. With the support of this illusory figure, his power had completely erupted. This is my true form, little brat. Die. Jiang Yifan roared and charged directly at Long Chen, smashing his staff down at Long Chen viciously with both hands. Long Chen blocked with his saber, and yet he still felt a huge impact and was forced back a dozen steps by a terrifying strength. With each step he took, the ground beneath him was crushed. With just a dozen steps, 
Long Chen was hundreds of meters away. Not bad. Now it'll be a bit interesting. Long Chen shook out his slightly numb hand. Now this seemed more like the power of a chosen. Die. Jiang Yifen once more smashed out with his staff. Now that he had the support of this illusory figure, his physical energy had explosively grown. Their weapons once more collided. But this time there was no loud explosion. Jiang Yifen's staff seemed to have struck cotton, and all his force had nowhere to go, causing a backlash that made him cough up blood. Violent Gale Saber really is worthy of being a high earth class battle skill. It's extremely exquisite. Now that I've used its defensive aspect, it's time to test its explosive aspect. Scram. Long Chen roared, his voice like thunder. Devil Decapitator suddenly released the power Jiang Yifen had used in his attack in addition to Long Chen's power as well. Jiang Yifen suddenly felt an earth-shattering power surge out of Long Chen's saber. He was horrified to realize that it actually had two portions of power, and he was actually unable to completely block it. When Luo Bing saw that Jiang Yifen was still unable to do anything even with this trump card, she turned pale. How is this possible? Long Chen's strength had far surpassed her expectations. Jiang Yifen was being repeatedly forced back by Long Chen. In truth, in terms of strength, Jiang Yifen surpassed Long Chen at the moment. Unfortunately, Long Chen had just managed to comprehend some of the profundities of saber arts from the violent Gale Saber technique. Jiang Yifen's power was unable to do anything to Long Chen now. Long Chen's saber repeatedly slashed out, golden light filling the air. Jiang Yifen could do nothing but retreat. Under Long Chen's berserk tempest of attacks, Jiang Yifen felt as if he had nowhere to release his power. Sometimes he would use a powerful attack, only to have Long Chen use some kind of profound technique to disperse its power and actually then return a portion of his own power at him. This is the violent Gale Saber technique. One of the monastery's elders had recognized this battle skill. Long Chen really is a monster. I heard he only just went to the Zhuanshan Pavilion to get a couple battle skills. But in this short amount of time, he's already managed to grasp some of the essence of saber arts. That kind of talent, comprehension skill, and perseverance is terrifying. These elders were all over 60 years old. After living that long, their vision was extremely sharp. They immediately saw that Long Chen was relying on his battle experience and skills to fight against Jiang Yifen. It was a bit different from his previous brute force style. Furthermore, Long Chen's attacks were only becoming sharper as he became more and more familiar with his saber arts. In the end, his attacks flowed completely naturally without the slightest bit of unfamiliarity. Those elders couldn't help sighing. As expected, the new generation surpassed the old. Long Chen was actually using a chosen to practice and temper his saber arts. Thinking back to when they were young and how they had carefully followed every single rule and restriction, they couldn't help feeling as if they had lived for nothing when comparing themselves to Long Chen. Even Tang Wanner and the other more skilled disciples could tell what Long Chen was doing. It was far too obvious. At the beginning, Long Chen's saber arts had clearly been too stiff. But as time passed, they began to flow easily and smoothly. Tang Wanner couldn't help shaking her head. Even after knowing him for so long, Long Chen was still constantly challenging everyone's imaginations. To use a chosen to experiment. What a luxurious sparring partner. Perhaps in this world, only Long Chen would dare think of doing such a thing. Luo Bing's expression was incredibly ugly. Occasionally she would raise her hand slightly before once more bringing it back down. At this time, she was already panicking and had no idea what she should do. You bastard Long Chen. You're really forcing me. Jiang Yifen suddenly roared, clenching his teeth malevolently. He suddenly brought his hands together. Beast image merges with the body. Chapter 300 Blood Ignition Art Translator. Born to be beast image merges with the body. Following Jiang Yifen's roar, the huge image behind him slowly merged with his body, and an incredibly savage aura soared out. Long Chen was shocked. He felt an extremely ancient aura lock him in place. What horrified everyone was that Jiang Yifen's body was releasing loud cracking sounds now. Heavens, what is going on? Guo Ran was looking in horror at Jiang Yifen. As that beast image merged into his body, his body began to transform in an incredibly horrifying manner. His face changed shape, the two tusks on his mouth growing longer, his head enlarged, his two eyes spread to his temples, and a horn grew out of his forehead. His body was also blowing up like a balloon. His limbs became covered in black fur and became as thick as a person's waist. And most shocking of all, a long tail appeared at Jiang Yifen's butt. It was a three-meter-long snake which was covered in dense scales. Now Jiang Yifen didn't even look human. He was more like a monster. 
His terrifying aura caused the ground beneath him to tremble. Everyone present, whether it was friend or foe, was stunned by this form. Such a technique was absolutely terrifying. Only Luo Bing was sighing a breath of relief. In truth, Long Chen had been right. Zhang Yifan didn't actually have the qualifications to be a chosen. His strength was still one level weaker than true chosen. But in the end, Zhang Yifan had used this beast image merging technique to obtain the Super Monastery's approval. With this technique, he had the ability to at least fight with a chosen for a long period of time. So in the end, they had still bestowed a chosen status to him. But in the 36th monastery, only the sect leader and Luo Bing knew that using this technique would pose a huge burden to Zhang Yifan's body and mind. Zhang Yifan's family was extremely old. Although they had already declined, there had been an amazing figure that had appeared amongst them back then. That person had actually ended up fusing with a powerful beast, leaving behind an extremely powerful bloodline. That bloodline had finally been awakened in Zhang Yifan. However, using this beast image merging technique of his not only brought with it a beast's power, but also a magical beast's berserk will. Someone who overused this technique would become incredibly savage, most likely turning into a bloodthirsty madman in the end. That ancestor of his had precisely brought about people to kill him because he had been too berserk. In the end, a top expert had killed him, but no matter how many negatives there were, once he used this technique, Zhang Yifan's strength would increase by tens of times. Without this technique, Zhang Yifan didn't truly possess the qualifications to be a chosen. This was his strongest state. However, after using this technique, Zhang Yifan would be bedridden for at least half a month before recovering from the sequelae of this technique. This was essentially a self-harming technique. Long Chen, now you should know the difference between us. You can die at ease. Zhang Yifan's physical body had explosively grown in size, and his voice didn't even sound human. That rasping, bestial voice caused people's blood to turn cold. Does your face hurt? Long Chen was too lazy to change his line. His response was a staff smashing down on him like lightning. Before it even arrived, the ground beneath him began to crack. When the staff smashed into Long Chen's saber, the ground beneath his feet completely collapsed, and Long Chen involuntarily flew back. How powerful! Long Chen felt a burst of pain in his abdomen as if his inner organs were flipping around inside of him. A trace of blood flowed out of the corner of his mouth. The current Jiang Yifan was extremely powerful. His chosen title wasn't undeserved. After sending Long Chen flying, Zhang Yifan stamped on the ground and charged. Holding his staff with both hands, he ferociously smashed it down, wanting to crush Long Chen to pulp. Long Chen smiled. Now it was a real battle. Divine Ring. The instant Zhang Yifan's staff smashed down, the ground of the entire monastery trembled. A wave of dust filled the sky, along with a wave of ki. Senior apprentice brother Zhang is so strong. He, this time Long Chen's definitely dead. How could a group of poor pigs compare to our monastery? Seeing that aura surging into the heavens, all of them assumed there was no way Long Chen could have survived such a powerful blow. Wait, something's wrong. Just as the dust began to scatter, they saw one odd thing. A 300-meter divine ring had appeared in the sky, lighting up the world. What? The 36th monastery's disciples were suddenly filled with disbelief. They saw Long Chen still standing there with his saber, his black hair dancing in the wind. His clothes fluttered as his aura incessantly climbed. With that divine ring behind him, he looked just like a divinity arrogantly looking down on the nine heavens. He and Zhang Yifan still had their weapons locked together as they icily glared at each other. Zhang Yifan's body had completely morphed so his expression couldn't be seen, but it was obvious he was also filled with complete disbelief. Impossible. I don't believe this. Die. Zhang Yifan roared and all his energy poured crazily into his staff. Countless runes lit up on his staff, and a violent energy surged out at Long Chen. Long Chen snorted and his Feng Fu star quickly circulated. He didn't hold back his energy either, pouring it into Devil Decapitator. After being supplied with so much of Long Chen's spiritual key, Devil Decapitator suddenly rumbled, and the lines on top of it lit up like it was a beast that had awakened. Terrifying energy caused the earth to subside, and a huge whirlpool appeared around them, rapidly spreading out. The ground around them was crushed to smithereens. The distant disciples were all shocked. When that whirlpool began to reach them, they felt the scent of death appear and quickly fled. Even the elders were also retreating with them. Zhang Yifan and Long Chen's power had reached a level that even they were unable to completely block, and there was no need for them to act arrogant. Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, and the others all finally realized just how terrifying Long Chen was. Back when he had fought Yun Luo, 
he had been too far for them to sense his power, but now just their aftershocks were able to easily obliterate outer disciples. That was practically a heaven-defying strength. These were chosen. They could easily crush those in the same generation, looking down disdainfully on them all. The two of their powers were constantly rising, and the ground was continuing to cave in. Luckily this place was spacious enough and there were no buildings. The spot where the martial stage had been was now a deep crater over a mile deep and dozens of miles wide. At the center, Long Chen and Zhang Yifen were still crazily facing each other. That was a competition lacking any technique, a competition of pure power. Zhang Yifen was crazily roaring, the veins of his face bulging out. His entire body was blood-colored now, appearing extremely dreadful. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't overpower Long Chen. The ground beneath them was sinking at a visible rate. Boss Long Chen really is my idol. He's too powerful. Guo Ran excitedly cried out. The disciples on his side were all looking at Long Chen with indescribable passion. Long Chen was always an undefeatable war god to them, their sole spiritual pillar. When Tang Wan Er saw those worshipful expressions, the tender side of her heart felt a bit of pride. Although Long Chen liked to joke around and was normally never serious, even occasionally irritating her with his teasing, he had never let anyone down during critical moments. He was definitely a man worthy of everyone's confidence. Even after being with Long Chen for so long, Tang Wan Er's feelings for Long Chen had never been expressed, and he had never expressed his emotions to her. But in her heart, her emotions were extremely clear. Sometimes it was better to not explicitly say everything. Chu Yao had already purposely told her to look after Long Chen. That already said everything that needed to be said. Now looking at Long Chen, who seemed like an arrogant god, with his natural heroism and pride, his glory was her glory as well. Hundreds of miles away, Ling Yanzi was also watching that figure, his eyes filled with a cold sharpness. Could it be that the heavens sent him to enlighten me? Back then, I was the same as him, prideful and free. But ever since I stepped into the Xi'anshan realm, I started to have more and more misjivings. I was never able to be free like this again. What happened to me? What am I afraid of? Did that old Ling Yanzi, the one who massacred all his enemies while laughing indifferently in the face of death, die? Looking at Long Chen, Ling Yanzi felt as if he were looking at himself back when he was younger. In his eyes, those two figures superimposed. Ling Yanzi's mind shook, and it was as if many shackles were being broken open. He was like a completely new person, instantly appearing many years younger. Thank you Long Chen. I, Ling Yanzi, owe you a debt. In that instant, Ling Yanzi had broken through the shackles of his heart and his realm advanced a huge step. When someone's cultivation base reached his level, it wasn't so simple to advance realms. It needed comprehension and realizations of your own mental state. Ling Yanzi, after spending years trying to cast off the last place name of his monastery, had ended up unconsciously losing his way, that had developed into a heart devil without him even knowing it. Originally, Ling Yanzi was his generation's top genius, and now with this sudden comprehension, he finally saw an unprecedented sky for him to soar into. All of that had been just from watching this youth. It was Long Chen that allowed him to find his old self. No matter how Jiang Yifen tried, he was always suppressed just slightly by Long Chen, causing him to become crazy. Impossible. 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 Ah, his beast merging technique already made it easy for him to become berserk. So at this point, Jiang Yifen lost all his reasoning, blood ignition art, 